everybody. What is happening? I hope you are all well tonight. Hope everybody had a fantastic week. Good to see everybody. Let's see who we got hanging out. Bunch of people here already. So good to see everyone. VMC in the house. Jeff Collins is here. Chicken Man Dan is with us. Martin Bowen, how are you doing? Walker Magnet, you do have both of the second and third boxes, Walker Magnet. They are yours, so we are officially sold out for tonight. I will take care of that right now. We will have boxes available for Tuesday. If there is interest, you can let me know. Create Craft, how are you doing? Good to see you. Who else we got? John Camper is with us. Good to see you, John Foxy. The Coin Hunter is here. Brian Robeson, Michael Erickson in the house as well, Robert Ortega, Michael Spicer. Thank you, Michael. Hopefully the streak will continue. We are going for three in a row tonight. So I'm looking forward to that. Who else we got? Brian Jensen is with us. Good to see you, Brian. Buff Nav is here. Dumps 15, how are you? Shell Bell is with us. Good evening, Shell Bell. Sheepdog13 is here. Ralph Langman, how are you doing, Ralph? Harry Tustin in the house as well. Josh Staples, how are you doing, Josh? John Bryan is with us. Good to see you, John Bryan. Hope you are well. Ricky Viscani in the house. And Jason Kinnick comes rolling in with five free memberships. Thank you very much, brother. That is very, very generous of you, my friend. Jason Kinnick, five. Hunting Southwest Ohio memberships. Congratulations to Harry Tustin, Dumps 15, The Lucky James Eller, Sherry Lynn Martin, and GS Coins. Welcome to the membership ranks. Good to have you. Thank you very much. All right, Walker Magnet says he's tired. He installed a ceiling fan, and it had to go and be difficult. So he's going to kick back and let us entertain him. So that's, hopefully you got it finished. That's the big thing, Walker Magnet. Joe Manick, how are you doing? Leighton Hallman, how are you? Valerie Bowen is with us. Good to see everybody. And look at Namaste. He says not to be outdone. Five Hunting Southwest Ohio memberships from Namaste Forget Me Not. Thank you, brother. Much appreciated, my friend. Hartford Junction in the house. Good to see you and welcome to... Uh, the membership ranks for Ralph Langman, Show Me Stacker, Bluegrass Coin Collector, Fleabag, and Roger Ivy. Thank you very much, Namaste. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate it very much. You guys are awesome. Farm Ace 100 also in the house. Good to see you, Farm Ace. All right. Giveaways. We will have a 50, 75, 100 likes giveaway EOS 1, 2, and 3 as well. You can see it if you choose, otherwise I will send it. Got some coffee, got us a new Keurig coffee pot today, so this is the first, first pot out of there, so hopefully it will be good. Hey Deuce, how you doing? Good to see you. <clears throat> All right, we are already closing in on the 50 likes, just 20 away, so when we get there, we will make it happen. Thank you guys again for the memberships. Thank you to all the members, I appreciate you guys very much. And uh, thank you to everybody for hanging out with us tonight. Much appreciated as well. All right. Martin Bowen, you're going to have box number one tonight. We opened up in the last stream and took a peek. We did not see anything exciting on the top. But tonight's the night we're going to see what is on the inside. So hopefully we have silver. Walker Magnet has got box two and three. So thank you to Walker Magnet. And Mark Bowen, both of you, for supporting the stream through box donations. Much appreciated. Let's go ahead. JP27, who day? How you doing? All right. <clears throat> Let's get into WB2, leftover from last week. We did crack the top on this before we took off last week. And we actually had some decent boxes left last week that I hunted, so I was super bummed to see the 2022s but it is what it is that is the first box i have had in a year that was uncirculated so i cannot complain about that so all right so let's take a look at this one those of you who are here or you remember this was the one that is stamped 
Loomis 5810 pack date June 18th 2019 so this thing has been sitting around for nearly five years we did crack it open on the last stream we did not see any enders so tonight's the night we're gonna find out what is on the inside I've been sitting here looking at it all week since last Tuesday night to see what would come of it and tonight's the night we're gonna find out so there it is right there like I said there was no enders on the top when we opened it so good luck to you Martin let me know what you would like brother you get a 90 and a 40 to start it out so let me get those pulled for you let me know what you would like for the 90 and we will get rolling all right I hope there better be silver in here as old as this box is all right there we go there is the box right there benji you got it my friend let me grab that we also will have some duck races as well tonight no i didn't even touch it shell bell i looked at it all week it sat on the floor in the same spot last night i pushed it over when i got back with the other six boxes that i have available for tonight and uh, I pushed it over and thought to myself, tomorrow we finally get to find out if there's anything in it. So I'm excited about that. So let's grab Martin a Benji and a 40 to start it out. Good luck, brother. I hope there's some shiny stuff in this box. There needs to be. You are due. Pretty nice 67, too, that I have to just pulled out of there. I had to break into my stash for some 40s tonight. I just bought a couple rolls from GA Silver Hunter, and they are headed my way. They are still in the mail. So I had to borrow some out of my personal stash tonight to uh, get through. So, all right. Good luck to you, Martin Bowen. I hope this box has saved something for us this week. We are going to find out. All right, here we go. Hey, Steve Kutzer, how you doing? Uh, yes, Vinny, you are all set. Um, I also, I have not replied to comments yet from the last video. I did see them, so them two old coins you asked about, Vinny, I did throw in your envelope, brother, so they'll be coming to you uh, next time that I ship you something. So I knew you would want them. I was pretty sure, so they will be heading your way. Good, Steve. Glad to hear it. We're going to start out with an 83 here first off. We're going to take a peek at this FG, and it does have it. So we will have a couple duck races coming up, as usual tonight. Duck race number one is going to be for a 1962 Benji, graded mint state 64 from... PCGS, that will be the first item, first duck race. Duck race number two will be for a 1948. What is that? A Cinco Peso 1948 will be duck race number two. I will have a bunch of items next week. I got picked up. They will be in the auction next week. I did not have time to get through and price all of them. Um, our in-laws are in town, so I didn't do too much up here today. So I will have next week, in amongst all the things that I picked up, there will be a few cat bust dimes. There will be a cat, few cat bust half dimes, a bunch of seated half dimes, some seated dimes. There will also be a cat bust quarter as well as several cat bust halves that will be showing up in the auction here. The other thing that I have that will show up in the auction likely next week because I have not had a chance to price it. Unfortunately, it is hold, but despite that, it is still going to go for a fair amount of money. I have a 1860 Liberty Seated Dollar that will be in the auction next week. So that is pretty cool. Liberty seated dollar in the auction next week, 1860. So we'll have some cat busts, some seated stuff. Have several um, cat bust half dollars as well that will also be in it. 
Okay, Boss B, no problem. Searched the box a half yesterday. Complete skunker. There were a few NIFCs. Only one was a keeper. Also a gold-plated bicentennial. Nice, great craft. That's I mean, at least there was something in it. That makes to me that makes it better. I hope you're well too, Busby. Thanks for stopping in, brother. I will let me know whenever you pop back in. I will check that email if I need to do so. I did pick up another 14 Barber Dimes and a quarter as well yesterday, so that was pretty cool. Love finding those. They had them held for me at the coin shop when I got there, so definitely love that. Appreciate them guys. They are a great group over there. So 1971D. There is a 72D. Can we get a no FG? We will not. Come on, give us something here. Let's get it started. There's another 72D. Still not it. How about a 73D? No. All right, come on. Work with us here. 71D. Not it. So anybody have any uh, nice hunts since we met last week? Brian, Brian Robeson, 50D nickel this week. Second one this year and fourth ever. That is awesome. Congratulations, Brian. That is very nice. Very nice. So anyway, yes, we will have the uh, cat bus and seated coinage that will be starting into the auction. I think I picked up well, about 48 pieces in total that are going to get popped into the auction stuff. Like I said, cat bust. I have one cat bus quarter. I believe it was 1818 that is going to be in the auction as well. So 1982, not the no FG. All right, come on, give us some goods here. We got to do good for Martin. He's been waiting for three days to see what was in this box. Got 140% of all year so far. Northwest Ohio is ice cold. Oh, no. That is not good, JP. Don't like to hear that. I have, what do we got? 62 on the stream so far this year. And I counted my jar the other day. Just the halves because I was curious. And I think I have about 40 in my personal hunt so far. So we are at about 100 and two or so for the year roughly so we've been getting some silver we have definitely been getting a little bit of silver in the 1974 d <laughs> impatiently martin says he's waiting impatiently i'm sorry brother i knew it would be a tough wait but all right that was roll six we have nothing to show for it so far i was super excited about this box too I got home, I sat them down here, and I go through usually and mark them with a marker which box is which, and I looked at the date on this and I thought, are you kidding me? 2019? I really wish all my banks would mark boxes, like the Brinks boxes, but they're never marked with a pack date. But I certainly wish they were, because I would love to know sometimes when they were packed. Oh, you were worried about me? <laughs> I didn't know you were a Red fan, Reds fan, Hartford Junction. That was that's news to me. I don't think I knew that. They're just 55 minutes down the road from me. The Reds are. They're not far away. And uh, JP27, I, I believe I read a comment. I didn't obviously have a chance to answer to it yet. But you heard about me on Digging Dave's channel, eh? He is a pretty good dude. We text or talk. It's been a while, but we were texting or talking a little bit every now and then, but he's a pretty good guy. Seeing it all week, he says. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a little tough, but I made it through. I did make it through. All right, come on. This is roll number nine. We have nothing to show for it yet. I 
guy and says, I live in Cardinal County, but I still root for the Reds. Mmm. Good coffee. All right, we need some goods here. Yeah, the other box that I hunted the other day, we filled the box, or we filled the board with a couple boxes, so that was pretty cool. 43 likes. We're closing in on that first giveaway. If anybody has not smashed the like button, jump on in. I was a Reds fan living in Washington State until 1980. Moved to live with family across the river in Newport, Kentucky for a few years. Very cool. Yeah, I've never been to a Reds game yet. I have not. I haven't been to any Ohio sporting events at all. I usually make my way up to my son's every year for a Lions game. I did do a Red Wings game earlier this year. He actually called me a couple weeks ago and said he may, if the Red Wings make the playoffs, he may have tickets for that if I would be interested in coming up. So we will have to see. Michael Wells just finished 25 rolls of quarters. Too bad the bank is closed now. Otherwise, I'd go swap them for a new batch. Anything good? Ooh, awesome, John Bryan. Found your first Libertad. What was that in? Was that in a half dollar box? That's pretty cool. Vinny says, please check your email. All right, I can do that, Vinny. We will do it for sure. We will do it. All right. Let me get back over to the stream screen, screen, screen. There we go. <laughs> Still love my reds, he says. No silver, but I nearly completed the state and national park sets. Only 15 needed for both now. Nice, Michael. That's good. Can't beat that. It's amazing how many nice quarters that you can still find in boxes from the bank. I mean, it seems like all the time. Yeah, the Red Wings are in a dogfight for the playoffs for sure. Come to Wisconsin. Lambeau is the best. I've heard that. Except it's cold. I don't really like that part of it. I do not like the cold. The box at half dollars a week and haven't found a silver this year. Oh, no. Yeah, the Red Wings are awesome, Artford Junction. I remember watching them when I, I played hockey for seven years when I was in my, I think I started at about 10 and then played till I was like 17, something like that. It was like eight seasons over seven years and uh, I was super hooked on hockey for a long time. I never missed, used to never miss a Red Wings game. First find of the box, 2008 Nifsey. 2008 NIFC, first find. Not always cold. I was at the hottest game. Ooh, 90 degrees. Yikes. So one thing I like about the Lions is it's always 70, no matter what time of year it is. Ryan had three traveling hockey players. Yeah, hockey equipment will... Uh, that will take care of some funds for you in short order. Hockey equipment is expensive. There's a 83. Yeah, I did get it when I was young. I mean, I don't watch it as much now, but I, it's hard for me to get Red Wings games anyway. But um, that between that, not really having the time, but I did enjoy it. Need a Choco Culture D to complete yours. Okay. I think I just found, I don't remember if it was a D or not, I think I just pulled a couple of those Choco Cultures out of the last box I did, if I remember right, but there's another Nifsey, 2004, second one. I'm going to finish this roll up, get those on the board so we got something to show for our time so far. JFK half set is even more complete than the quarters, only four of those left. Two of which are the 24. Speaking of that, that was a question I was going to ask. Has anybody seen a 2024 anything yet? Anybody? 
penny, nickel, dime, quarter, half dollar, anything. I still have seen nothing yet for 2024s. Oh, Namaste seen pennies. Okay, I have not. Of course, I am currently not getting pennies because I have too many boxes here. So I had them hold my penny order for a couple of months. And I told them I would let them know when I'm ready to go again. No 2024s. Namaste, it looks like you are the lone soldier in the 2024 department. You were the only one I'm seeing. Ooh, very cool, Hartford Junction. That is awesome. Play for Boise State, huh? All right, let me get this board updated. And Namaste says, I got them for sale, too, if anybody's interested. 2024 pennies. What are you getting a roll, Namaste? What are you getting a roll? Two Nipsies. Not 21, two. There we go. Two Nipsies. <laughs> Valerie. I got the 2024 bills, the electric bill, the water bill. Holy cow, you're getting, how many rolls is it for? Five rolls for 22 bucks. Yeah, it'll drop once people start seeing them more, but um, like I said, I'm not getting pennies right now or nickels. I have both of them on hold for a couple months at least. And then I will go back to the well. But So I won't see any of those probably. Well, I start getting boxes again. There's a 73D, not DDO. 2024 bills are the worst. You got that, JP. No 2024s found yet in change or boxes in Idaho. Yeah, I think Namaste, I think as far as I know, even outside of the YouTube realms, you're the only person I know that has seen anything 2024. Watch Wisconsin Badger women qualify for the national championship game against Ohio State tomorrow. Very cool. Yeah, that's not bad. Three for 15 plus shipping. That's a pretty good deal. Considering. All right. We're on roll 16 already, Martin. Two Nipsies to show for it. That is it. Seen a, okay, Michael's seen a handful of 2024 pennies. I would assume that if I was still getting them, I probably would have seen a box by now, but it's hard to say. And there it is, 50 likes. We did it. 50 likes, first get it, almost $7 to ship. Yeah, postage is crazy. Are you using a commercial program, Namaste, or are you just going to the post office? Another nice 71D. Not going to be the DDO, though. Commercial? Okay. Yeah, I don't know what. I guess it depends where they're going, too, but I am still using Pirate Ship to do all my shipping. PirateShip.com. <clears throat> So, I've been pretty happy with it so far. 72D. Come on, could you just give us something here? Another 72D. Yeah, I, most places, if it's under, I think if it's under four ounces, I believe I'm paying like... In my zone, which is directly north and south of me, I think I am paying three, 386 or 396. I think it's 386. Yeah, they, they go up, Valerie, all the time, I'm telling you. They did not do the, the shipping thing at Christmas this year, though. 
I got nailed pretty hard at Christmas last year on shipping because they raised it a little bit. Um, they did not do that this year, though. Hey, A.H., what's happening? Hope you are doing well, brother. We are starting out slow tonight. We're going to see where it goes from here. This is that box from 2019. There is NIFC number three. You were in the free silver dime zone, sir. We've at least got that far. All right, 19 this is, roll 19. All right, come on. 74D. We are so beyond overdue for a DDO, I just can't even explain how far overdue we are. Another 71D. And a 73D. Not the DDO. All right, let me do the 50 likes. Let's do that real quick. There is the 50 likes right there. Give me just a second. I got to get the Nightbot up and rolling here. All right, there is Mr. Nightbot. We'll get down to giveaways. Ad mods keyword will be 50 likes to get in. 50 likes. If you would like to get in on the giveaway, 50 likes. Oh. I did. I put it in the wrong place, didn't I? Let me take care of that real quick. I will update it anyway because we are now at three NIFCs. There. I got it fixed. Done. All right. 50 likes time. 50 likes is it to get in if you would like. 50 likes. 52 people watching. We currently have 42 eligible. You got a few more seconds, and then I am going to switch it up here. A few more seconds to get in if you would like. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. And the winner is Michael Erickson. Hello, Michael Erickson. You are the winner, brother. Congratulations. Let me know if you would like to see it or just send it. Your choice, my friend. Let me know what you would like to do. Let me know. Open it and drop it in the chest. Look at that. Michael Erickson giving some love to the chest tonight. There is the 50 likes. And we're going to have a couple of more silver dimes headed to the treasure chest. Thank you very much, Michael Erickson. Let me grab the treasure chest. And we will put those in here. Just a second. All right. There it is. Those of you who are not familiar with it, this is our treasure chest giveaway. We'll be doing this next August. We have been adding stuff since August. Hey, Foxy the Coin Hunter, how you doing? And we're going to add yet a couple of more silver dimes right there. 50 likes time. Michael Erickson donating two more dimes to the treasure chest. Thank you, Michael Erickson. Very cool, brother. We continue to add goodies. I will take goodies for the treasure chest until the 1st of August. And then it's going to take me a couple days to break all that stuff up, repackage it, and get it ready for giveaways. We did 40 packages last year, worth about $40 each. I'm assuming we're doing more this year, so we will see how that goes. 
All right. This is going to be roll number 20, Martin. Roll 20. That could be another Nipsey right there. He's been calling for the random 90. Can we get it, please? Nope, it will not be an NIFC. It's a 1999. There's a 1982, not the no FG. Yes, it will be a fantastic night in August. I have, I still have some mail call stuff I need to get in the chest yet. So that will be coming up. I believe I have four people that sent stuff I need to get in there. So be on the lookout for that. We will add some more goodies. All right, roll 21. Roll 21. Come on. Could we please get something silvery? Not the no FG, there is a 71D. That's not it. There's a 1983. Still not the no FG. Could we please just get lucky here? All right. Another NIFC 2005. Thought maybe that was going to be a proof. Kind of a thick edge. But no dice. 72D. Not the no FG. Come on. Give us some goodies, please. 71D? Maybe? No? Hey, to Todd, to Todd. How you doing? Good to see you. All right. Come on, there's another 71D. Not the DDO. Why can we not find the DDO anymore? I don't know what happened there. Got a hunt some halves during the eclipse. How many boxes a week do you usually get, JP? I figured I would ask. You're a new one in the... Uh, in the group here, so I kind of have an idea what everybody else gets, but I am currently getting nine boxes a week. I do have two more that should be in on Tuesday, so I should have a couple of fresh boxes for Tuesday night I will have to pick up after work. So that will be happening. All right, roll 24. Roll 24, come on box. It's not being nice, Martin. It is not being nice. 71D, no. 72D, not the no FG. Another 72D. There is a 71D, come on. Yet another 71D. They just keep coming, but no DDOs are happening. There's still another one, 71D. Oh, not yet, Farm Ace. We're trying. We're trying to find some silver, but so far, not cooperating. Long way to go. Drink more coffee, he says. All right, I'll, I'll take another drink. I won't argue with you. Interesting weather day in Idaho. Rain this morning, sunshine a few hours in the afternoon, and now a thunderstorm. We had some weather like that here not long ago. We had a tornado warning in February. Another NIFC 2004. We had a tornado situation just north of us this month. It's been kind of a weird spring up here in Ohio for sure. It has been an oddity. Very different weather. I probably did not, or I probably will not, I should say, get out and get any detecting in 
this weekend, I do not believe. Got to run into Sam's Club tomorrow, pick up a few things in the afternoon. So probably will not get out any this weekend. I do still have, I believe, three or four episodes filmed to bring you guys coming up. But we're quickly running out of uh, farm field season for detecting. It is, uh, you get a box, two boxes a week. Okay. What what are they usually, JP? Loomis, Franks, NF String and Sons. I might have been a little bit mixed, mostly Brinks with a Loomis or NF String and Sons periodically sprinkled in. 74D, not the DDO, 71D. And another NIFC, let me update the board, that is six of them now. We are closing in on a free 40 percenter. Free 40 percenter, we're getting there. To cycle to a different denomination every week. I usually hunt every denomination every week, like Wells, if I can help it. Except for dimes, they make me a little crazy. Yes, they certainly are. Hartford Junction, they are. Them guys are. They're certainly crazy. That's all I can say. I agree with you there. Got a foot of snow between last night, and night, or today for Crafty Dragon. Yikes. Hopefully we are done with snow here. I hope. That's what I'm hoping for. All right, roll 28. I mean, if it stayed colder a little longer than normal, that would be okay because that may prolong the metal detecting season. But I have seen some farmers out. They're not planting or anything, but they're doing a few things. So it is, it's coming. May have to do a little door knocking this spring, see if we can get on any other spots that way, but it has been tough. Color eyes 3D. Um, I don't know, I don't really I don't really get into the uh I don't know much about the 3D printing or any of that kind of stuff. I don't know that there's, I don't know, I don't know what I need because I don't really know anything about it, but that's kind of a, uh, one of them things I never really got into. Oh, uh, the last DDO, Martin, it's got to be closing in on. Three weeks ago, maybe four. Ever wanted a movie prop? Uh, not, not exactly. <laughs> not exactly. 74D. Lucky shell bell. It's really only a foot. Yeah, it's been a minute, Martin, for sure. Found a bank with four customer wrapped rolls yesterday. I bought 16 rolls with no luck. However, all the rolls were by year. Three rolls in 1971. Four rolls of bicentennial. Wow. Today's mail call is a gall. From Coin Crew, something pretty cool. A two and a half grain silver bar inside a playing card. Very cool. That's pretty awesome, Treat Craft. That sounds interesting. 71D. Another 71D. Um. Really get into that stuff that much, AEH. I'm kind of boring like that. I mean, I don't really watch much TV. We watch a few movies every now and then, but not really very much. 
we're just not all that into the uh, the movie type stuff. I mean, we did go to the movies for all the. Hey, Jules, how you doing? We did go to the movies for all the Avengers movies. We took the kids to every one, but that's probably the only thing really that we've spent much time on movie wise. I don't get super excited about. Literally, probably 90% of what I watch is on YouTube. What about the kids? Um, I'd have to ask my, my kids. My daughter, I know, used to be like way into Harry Potter, but I think that ship has sailed. Um, my son is into some different... There's a miscellaneous coming up right there. He is into some different anime type stuff. There is a hold coin right there. That is the miscellaneous... We got a couple categories knocked out now. <clears throat> there it is. I'm going to add that miscellaneous right now. If who knew for football season, then shut it off until next season. I'll ask her if she would be interested in one or not, AEH. She's older, so she would uh, she would know. I don't want to spend any money on it without uh, having interest in it. But she's she's 24, so I don't know how much she's into it anymore. I'd have to ask her. 74, 71D. Jules is all about the sci-fi stuff. Oakland University in Rochester, Michigan beat Kentucky in March Madness a couple days ago. Yeah, I've seen that. My daughter-in-law went to... Um, I don't remember what it was now. It sounded like here downtown Detroit. New York City also had an over two-year snow drought. That streak broke a few weeks ago. Steve won the square for that game. Nice. All right. This, we're 34 rolls in. We got another NIFC. That is going to put you in the 40% zone. So we got that going for us at least. And another one, 2009. There's a 74D. Hey, Rod Pierce, how you doing, brother? Good to see you. Your Kentucky family is upset with Coach Calipari, huh? All right. Keep lagging off live. That's a bummer when that happens. And another NIFC, 2005. With you. I'm glad we don't really get that much snow anymore. I don't enjoy it a lot. I know some people do out there. Prediction Martin Bowen will not watch March Madness this week. I haven't watched a single second of it. The cell signal is weak in the middle of nowhere, huh? Now, luckily, I have at least have good internet. It's expensive, but it is good. So I'll take what I can get. There's another 72D. I'm sorry, Martin. This box has been a little lackluster so far. We are hitting some NIFCs, but I want some shine Y, as we call it around these parts. Need some shine Y. 71D. Come on, there's another 71D. 
We have 13 rolls left in the box. We're trying, Martin. We are trying. It is not going real well, but we're trying. Did you used to play basketball, Ben? Is that why it is a sentimental thing? Are you a basketball player? A shooter of baskets, shall we say? 71D, no. None of my kids really did basketball. I had one, played football. Two younger kids did some soccer when they were younger. Until high school and then they said you weren't good enough. Well, that's not nice. You're doing better than I am. You're gonna roll 46 and nothing, not even an NIFC. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better. I hope you find something, Brian, before the box runs out. I hope you do. 71D. So who who thinks, here's my, my poll, we won't start an actual poll, but I'm going to ask, who thinks we will actually see 2024 half dollars show up in uncirculated boxes? Anybody? It's been, it's been going on since 2021. Do we think it will continue or no? Anybody got any thoughts? Just NIFCs, Foxy. That's about it. A lot of memories in the tournament history. Coach Belvano running around the floor after North Carolina State won the championship. Foxy says yes. Ben says doubtful. VMC says they will. No mistakes. Well, why wouldn't they? That is true because it has been a thing here in the last few years, but... I, I say if it comes out in any sort of circulation in a full box, there's no way it's NIFC. Done. End of story. That's my opinion, but who knows? Robert says, of course they will. Yeah, they keep saying that, Farm Ace, but I don't know. I don't know if I buy it. All right, nine rolls after this one. 73D, no. Martin concurs, he says. Um, next question. We, we broached this subject a little bit last week. This has been going on probably for three weeks now. I want your honest thoughts on the vertical so the vertical live streams on your shorts platform. Vertical live streams on the short platform. Give me your honest thoughts. Is anybody watching them, number one, and give me your thoughts on it. We slightly broached this subject last week. We didn't get too far into it. But I'm curious what everybody thinks. <laughs> Don't like them. No, not a fan. Don't like them at all. Hate, 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 not a fan. Annoying, oh my gosh, it's worse than I thought. It is worse than I thought. Doesn't bother Namaste. Yeah, I guess that's, that's a bright side of it, but on that side of it, if you get another... 10 million people excited about it, and you get another 10, 10 million people getting boxes, another NIFC, it's going to make life very difficult for the rest of us. Prefer the large format. Yeah, I've, I've made the official decision that I am not doing any. So you will not be seeing any of those for me unless I get forced into it by some YouTube something or another because that could happen. But other than that, I will not be doing any. So 
So I'll do my best, he says. My record is against it, though. You have definitely had a few okay boxes, Walker Magnet, in the past. They, were, they weren't great, but they were okay. I don't think you've had any great ones, but we had a few okay ones. Seventy-one D. Uh, are you are you talking about the the vertical live stream platform, Foxy? Is that what you're asking? That's what I was talking about. If that's what you're asking. They have a new way to do those live streams. Yeah, they have a new way to do live streams through the shorts platform on YouTube. So it's vertical and everything's really small. Um, I mean, I'm not against anybody doing them. It's obviously their own prerogative, but it's I just don't like them. It's not something I'm going to do. Another NIFC 2007. I've tried to watch a couple, and they're to me, they're unwatchable. I just do not enjoy them at all. So, like I said, everybody's got their own thing. You are very welcome, Shell Bell. Prefer watching on the 65-inch TV. I hope I look better on the 65-inch than I do on my little screen, Valerie. All right. We just got a new carry today. Um, my mother-in-law and her husband got us a new Keurig, and they also got us a 70-inch TV today, so that's a newbie. We got that unboxed and set up earlier. So, I have something bigger to watch things on myself. Not that I watch a lot of TV down there, but... So, got the 70-inch rolling now. Um, there's, let's see, who's doing verticals? Diggin' Dave is doing them. Paz Spare Time is doing them. Southern Metal is doing them. Like I said, I'm not against anybody. You know, you're welcome to do whatever you want to do, and that's, that's cool. I'm not criticizing anybody, but they're just not for me. I will pass. I'll, I'll, uh... I will go the old-fashioned way on the sub-earning. I'll just work hard at it. Because I know I, if I did it, I know I'd get subs. That's, I don't have any doubt about that, but that's not really what I'm, what I'm all about. So I can see I'm on your 85. <laughs> now, the TV we bought, they had a 75 as well, but I don't think it would have fit on the current entertainment center that we have. And the old house that we were in has a very large six-foot pocket door that you can close between the living room and the dining room. And I cannot mount the TV because it's on that wall. So I cannot put a TV mount up because I'll end up screwing screws into the door or you won't be able to open it all the way. So it had to fit on the TV stand for sure. Yes, it was very nice of them to do that. So we were very appreciative of them doing that for us. So we got the Carrig K-Cup coffee pot combo deal. I just made the first pot of coffee in that before I came up. And it was pretty good. Very tasty. My cup is now empty. But that's all right. We got one roll left after this, Martin. I'm sorry, brother. I was expecting big things out of this box. Being this old, I figured the likelihood of silver was much higher. Uh, actually, tonight I had... Um, it is Folgers. Black and Smooth or something like that. It's actually pretty good. Black Silk, that's what it is. Folgers Black Silk. Len got a big thing of that a couple weeks ago. Roll 50, everybody. Roll 50. Guess what? 
There's the 40 percenter. We waited till the last possible second to make it happen. But there is a 40 percenter right there. Oh, nice, Foxy. Yep, there it is right there. 1968 out of Denver. We couldn't have possibly waited any longer, but we got one. 40 percenter in the box. We will take it. We found some silver. Walker Magnet, the pressure is off now. The pressure's off. We did find some silver. Last roll magic. How about it? That was pretty cool right there. I may have to download that and turn it into a short. All right. There it is. I got to add. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 NIFCs. So let me get that updated. It is better late than never, I will say that. 11 NIFCs, we have the miscellaneous, and we now have a 40. We just need a 90 and a proof to fill the board with two boxes to go. Pressure's on, Walker Magnet. I just said it was off. Now it's back on. It is now back on. We'll be on you to uh, fill the board. No pressure. All right, so 11 NIFCs. That is going to be one, two, three, four, five, fifty, five, fifty. I'll give you a choice at five fifty. I will do three silver dimes, or I will do a quarter and a dime. Your choice, Martin. Let me know. Three dimes or a quarter in a dime, up to you. Let me know what you want to do. Oh, Foxy's, Foxy's rolling in the dough. He can bid high tonight, he says. Uh-oh. Trade NIFCs for quarter and a dime. Next question. Would you like to keep the hold coin or not? And what do you want? Because you still get a skunk 90. Still get a skunk 90, so your choice. Let me know what you would like to do. The quarter will be, believe it or not, look at that. Quarter is going to be a 1939 Philly. Along with your dime and another Benji. All right. We can make that happen. Thank you very much, Martin. There's your 1968. There's your 40 we got in the box. There's your Benji, your quarter, and your dime. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Martin Bowen. Not a bad box. I mean, it could have been better. But we got some NIFCs for some extra silver, so that was nice. Congratulations, Martin. Okay, Vinny, I am going to send that hold coin to you. Per Martin's instructions, I will add it to your envelope that I have here someplace. There it is right there. Here's Vinny's envelope that he's going to have coming. We have... Four hold coins, a proof, and a gold-plated coin. We're going to send those to the VIN, the VIN master. All right, Vinny. Thank you again, Martin. Much appreciated, my friend. Much appreciated. We're going to go ahead and do duck race number one. Duck race number one for the night. And here it is right here. Duck race number one will be for a 1962D Mint State 64 Benji. 62D Mint State 64 Benji. If there is interest, it'll be a $4 donation per spot. We have 12 spots available. 12 spots available, $4 donation per spot. So I have Robert Ortega. Busby, 
Michael Erickson. Shell Bell. Chicken Man. You're welcome, Martin. Thank you, brother. Leighton Hallman. VMC. Brian Jensen. Namaste. Foxy. Steve Kutzer. And Valerie, you are going to get the last spot. I'm only going to have the one for Valerie Martin. If that is okay, I am sorry. They went quick. So I'm just going to have the one for Valerie. Here's who I have. I have Robert Ortega, Busby, Michael Erickson, Shell Bell, Chicken Man, Leighton Hallman, VMC, Brian Jensen, Namaste, Foxy, Steve Kutzer, and Valerie. Namaste says you can have his if you would like, Martin. He is willing to give his up. Up to you. Up to you. Thank you, Vinny. I figured you probably wouldn't like it, Foxy. It just doesn't interest me. But So, Martin, just let me know if you want Namaste spot or not. He says he's willing to give it up. If not, we'll just roll with it the way it is. Let me know. Nope, he says, Namaste, you win it. He is gonna, he's gonna bow out. All right, let me get a, hey, J Dud, how you doing? Let me get the duck race rolling here. Give me just a second. I will get this set up here real quick. is ready just about there hang on Three shuffles, says Brian. Yeah, that's fine, Robert. You're good to go, brother. You have earned my trust. Yeah, Steve, that is fine. That is fine. You've been around a while, so I know that you are a trustworthy person as well. So, all right, let's get over here and let's get rolling, John Brian. I predict Shell Bell wins. 
All right, here we go. We're going to see what happens. 2.22 on the clock, set, super full screen, three shuffles per Brian Robeson. Thank you, Brian. One, two, three. All right, here we go. Good luck, everyone, and we are off. Here we go. Shell Bell will take the early lead. She is going to be out front first. Shell Bell to the lead. Followed by Brian Jensen. He is Batman tonight. Shell Bell continues to pull away. Continues to pull away. Brian Jensen slowly starting to fade a little bit. Shell Bell out front. Here comes Foxy making a move towards the front. He will be into second. He will not make it to first place. Here comes Busby as well. Shell Bell continues to hang on. Under a minute 30 to go. Still Shell Bell out front. Here comes Namaste. Namaste Busby. Beak to beak for second. Looks like Busby is going to pull it out. Move into second. And he will take the lead. New leader, Busby now out front. Brian Jensen second, Shell Bell third. One minute to go, one minute, Shell Bell back to the lead. Shell Bell once again out front. Can she stretch it out? A lot of people catching up. Here comes Leighton Hallman. Here comes the chicken man. Now, it is Robert Ortega moving up. He'll get into second. Chicken Man Dan still hanging on to the lead now. Shell Bell is fading to the back of the pack. 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds. Robert Ortega now beat the beak with the Chicken Man. And they will both lose. Namaste comes out on top. 19 seconds. Whoa, Namaste went to the back in a hurry. I don't know what happened there. Robert Ortega to the lead. Ten seconds to go. Robert Ortega. Can he hang on? He will not. Who's it going to be? Oh, my gosh. Is it going to happen? Foxy. Look at that. Foxy to the lead. He gets the big win. Now he has his second slab coin in his collection. Holy cow, Foxy wins another one. He's the new Shell Bell, I think. Foxy is the new Shell Bell. He's won a few of these things. Congratulations to you, Foxy. You are the winner, sir. Foxy the coin hunter. Takes home a 1962D. Benji, lost my pen, had to find another one. Congratulations to the chicken man. He's two more slab coins than I have in my collection, says Robert. <laughs> now Stace is rigged. It's got to be rigged because Shell Bell didn't win, says John Bryan, basically. Congratulations, Foxy. You have yourself a big win. Very nice. Congratulations. All right, Mr. Walker Magnet has the next two boxes. We will interrupt that hunt with a duck race between the two. But Walker Magnet, let me know what you think. We have CU1, CU2, CU3, as well as WB1, WB2, and WB3. Those are the six boxes I have. Oh my gosh, and Foxy says to chest it. Whoa, look at that. Foxy is chesting the graded Benji. How about that? Very, very cool of you to do that, Foxy. That is unbelievable. He says, put it in the chest. How about that? Let me grab that chest. Very generous, Foxy. Very generous of you. See you two to start it, he says. All right. Whoa, crash. 
There is the chest of goodies. And Foxy the coin hunter is going to add in a 1962D Benji. I got to shut off the duck noises. Very generous to you, Foxy. Add that graded Benji to the bunch. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. <laughs> Don't forget to turn the ducks off. All right, let me get the duck shut off. They're driving me crazy, so I can only imagine. There we go. Got it. All right. Walker Magnet says CU2 to start it out. I will point out, last week, three of the four CU boxes did have silver. They did have silver last week. Two or three of the four. All right, there is CU2 right there. CU2 it is. That's the box we're going to start it out with. Let's get this thing open for Walker Magnet. Good luck to you. You're putting the duck to sleep. Well, I do not see anything silvery on the top. I see one possible NIFC. Maybe two, but that is it. We're going to have to do it the hard way if there's silver in here. Oh, I know, Valerie. The, the time's coming when I'm going to quit moving the chest here before too long. It is getting heavy. All right. There we go. Good luck to you, Walker Magnet. Here is roll number one, box one for Walker Magnet. He has box one and two. Um, I do owe you a 90 and a 40, Walker. Let's just go ahead and do both boxes right now. So two 40s. Let me know what you would like for the 90s, my friend. I will pull those out. There is a 74D. We'll do both boxes right now and just get it out of the way. Another 74D, not the DDO. I owe you. No, come on. 67 likes. We're closing in on that 75. Another 74D and three of them in this one. No DDOs. All right. Roll number two. Well, thank you, Foxy. It was very generous, brother, for you to do that. That was a generous one to give away. 1982. Not the no FG. There is a 1972D, not the no FG. Here is a 1971. He wants a barber and a seated. I don't know if I'm going to be able to help him out on that. I have a few barbers. I have, well, technically I have some seated halves, but uh, I paid a little too much for those. Vinny's calling for the Benji proof again. Roll number three here. Let me get... Uh, I want to get your 40s and your 90s out, Walker, here before I forget about it. Let me know what you would like for your 290s. There's your 240s right there. So let me know what you would like for them 90s. Benji's got it. I have those. There they are. So there's your 90s and your 40s for both boxes. We'll figure the rest out here coming up all right here we go that is roll number three right there roll three no nifsies or anything yet 71D coming up. 
And nothing. All right. Roll four. Roll four here. Hey, NC Prospectors, how you doing? Nineteen eighty-three. Not the no FG. I was very happy to see that forty come out of that last roll for Martin's box. That was pretty nice. I pretty much chalked that one up as a uh, no silver box at that point. So it was very cool to see that pop out for sure. All right, 93, I thought that said 2003, I wasn't even close. All right, nothing to scope in that roll. Here comes roll number five. He surrounds says, I stink at picking boxes. Well, there is a lot of luck involved, Ron. I'll be honest, about a year ago it was a lot easier because you could almost count on the WB boxes to have silver. That has changed the last six to nine months. It, it is very hit and miss with that back now, but it used to be you had almost a silver in every box. It was that good for a while. And that has definitely changed. I think this year, I believe CU has been the hot bank so far this year, if I remember correctly. Hey, Tomic. That is going to be a couple of newer coins, it looks like. Yep, 2022s. So overall, best box of the year. There's a 2023 and a 22 in that roll. Best box of the year has come from the PB Bank, which I pick up Tuesday. I have two boxes coming in there. So that has been the best bank as far as best box for the year. But the best overall amount of silver has been the CU Bank, I believe, so far. First box we ever hunted from the PV bank had like nine or ten silvers in it. That was pretty awesome. Yes, that will make a nice short. You're very, very true, Martin. Problem with it, you used to be able to take shorts right out of your lives. Now you have to download it, edit it out. Um, that is basically the only way to do them now. They will not let you remix shorts anymore from the from YouTube. They used to let you do that. Not so much now. All right, roll number ten. Roll ten coming up. Um, I'm getting close, Tomic. I got a few more little things I need to find, and I think we'll be equal. There is a 2007. Well, I guess that will be your final decision while we're, whether we're equal, but hopefully this week I will have you an email out. So it has definitely been busy on my end as well. So a lot of things going on. Uh, if you can get 20 Morgans for $85, Foxy, yes, make sure they're all real. Because just in cull, which means they're in terrible condition, but just in silver value in those is a minimum of about 24 bucks a piece right now. So, yeah, it's definitely worth it. If you can get 20 of them for $85, you are making money. I'd buy 20 of them for 85 all day. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, Robert, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> that is wild. That's usually the problem I have with Silver Addictions package. It usually circles the state of Michigan before it lands in his hometown. Hopefully it gets there soon. I don't know how that happens. I don't know how that happens. Yeah, it's been like a week since I mailed that, I think. I will be mailing packages out next. Next Friday will be the next mailing day. I'm going to get back on my regular schedule of doing it on Friday night. All right, this is roll number 13 coming up here. 13 already. Crazy. I don't know why it got the Phoenix and left. Like, that makes no sense to me in my head, but... I guess somebody forgot the bag on the plane or something. I don't know. They, uh, or the box, whatever it was in, like it landed and they just forgot to take it off or something. Super weird. They wonder why the post office don't make money. They're flying packages around the country for no reason. Oh, that's right. Well, I'm going to get them ready to ship. Uh, Steve, I'll actually take them to the post office Saturday, but I, I package and sh do all my shipping labels Friday night, and then I will drop them off at the bank Saturday morning. Or not at the bank, at the post office, excuse me. So no, there is not mail on Good Friday, but they should be open on Saturday. That's my normal... Uh, Hey, Sean Bowden, how you doing? AK Grizz, how you doing, brother? One time people could mail their children across the country. I'd never trust them to do that. I had a package go from California to Hawaii and back to Michigan. That is weird. Yeah, eBay, at least you have, if, if there happens to be anything wrong with them, Crafty, there's at least recourse. eBay does take care of their buyers. But uh, was that a bid? Was that an $85 bid? Because I see a lot of them on there, like a 20-coin roll that will be at 50 or 60 bucks, and then it'll end up selling for about $900 when the auction's up. Think they left it on the plane? That's what I think happened to this other one. That's what I think. My guess exactly. But they have a lot. There's one company on eBay that I follow. They sell a ton of uh, rolls of Morgans. They're legit. They're a legit company, but if they're in an auction, they're always going to sell for way more. I don't think I've seen a roll sell for less than 500 Because I was watching some for a while because I was considering buying a roll. Um, but I just have never, never been able to commit. We and Walker Mag are going to a coin show on Good Friday. Nice. I was going to go to one tomorrow. But I ended up spending way too much money on Friday when I did my other pickups. So they had a bunch of stuff held back for me at the coin shop that I picked up. I got six or seven rounds. And I bought some auction add-on items. So I will show you those real quick. I have these also tonight for auction add-ons. I have a 2004, 2002, a couple 2002s, another 2004, 2006, 2001, 2001, 2001, and a 2001. So I will have ASC add-ons. Um, I'm going to do them for $34 a piece just to cover a little bit of my time and gas money. Um, so that's, that's what I'm looking at. So... I think silver, when I got those on Friday, was just a tick over $25 an ounce, plus the premium on them, and a little bit of money for time and gas. 
Oh, there is mail on Good Friday. I didn't figure there would be. I did not figure there would be. All right, this is roll 18. We need to get something else on the board. We have one NIFC so far. One NIFC. Yeah, if you buy them from Little Littleton, they're probably like 50 bucks, but I didn't buy them from there. I got them secondhand. So I literally, by the time you do Silver Spot plus, plus the premium and a little bit of markup for me driving around, I landed at $34. Um, let me check, Sean. I'm pretty sure I sent you one. I don't see it in my scent eel either, but I'm pretty sure I typed one, Sean. Let me, I'm going to write another note. I'm going to look for that after. I'm pretty sure I sent one. If not, I'll type you another one. No problem. I'm going to look into it after I got a note here. I'm going to get this stuck up on my computer screen and I will look into that after the stream tonight. Yes, I, I am in agreement. I would not buy anything from Littleton either. These are all, I bought all these second hand, so I, I would not buy anything from Littleton. Just so we know. That sounds weird, Robert. I don't like that at all. There were some weird quarters. Or weird dollars. Or I guess it could be weird quarters, however you want to look at it. Yes, I, I would never buy anything for Littleton, so anything I have that has Littleton on it was way second hand. Way, way second hand. Hey coin flip, how you doing? Oh, come on, Silver. This is roll 20. And there's a 2021 in roll number 20. There's a 1983. Not the no FG. Another NIFC 2007. We are almost to dime time. Hey, Jesse, how you doing? Um, I will email you also, Jesse, regarding what you asked me about at the end of the stream last week. It is still available, so I'll get a hold of you. I will email you as well. A 2024, one ounce, American Gold Eagle, almost 3K. Holy smokes. I mean, I felt a little bit bad with these ones at 34, but sometimes I do have some time and money running around to get this stuff, so I got to do at least a little bit. Nice, Vinny. Vinny is at 450 subscribers. Very cool, brother. That's awesome. Very nice. Good, Jesse. Glad to hear it. All right, come on. Come on. Let me in that roll. All right. Seventy-three D. Oh, it's a seventy-two. Excuse me. Not the no FG. Eighty-three. Not the no FG. Just over two years. Well, it's not terrible. All right. 
This is roll 23. Come on, box. I don't want to wait till the last roll to find silver this time. I'd really not like to do that. There's another NIFC. There's your dime time, Walker Magnet. Got yourself a silver dime. Were any of those proofs good years? Are the, the ones I got last week, is that what you're talking about, or in the video? If it's the ones in the video, I don't think any of those would, were uh, anything special year-wise. So, Yeah, I'll, I, I would sell one, Foxy. I, I don't have... Uh, I keep most of my proofs that I find, but I am not... Uh, I'm not in love with them where I couldn't get rid of one or two, so I will fix you up for sure. The Ender, I'll tell you what, since I like you, I'll cut you a deal. How about 75 cents? And I'll sell it to you for 75 cents. How's that sound? Oh, nice, Sean. Very cool. What do you mean, no? Is that too much? 75 cents is too much? No, I'm not kidding. I am not kidding. I'll sell it to you for 75 cents. Foxy, it's yours. I have to pull it back out of the tube that it's in, but it is definitely yours. Pin whatever Foxy doesn't take. <laughs> Alright, Foxy, you're good. And another NIFC. I'm going to update the board after this roll. That's four of them. There is a 1983, 71D, okay, very good Foxy, thank you. I'll sell you one for $5. I'll I mean, I'm sure you can get a little bit more money for the Proust, but realistically, I got 50 cents wrapped up in it. It's something I found in a box. And uh, it'll be a nice little piece for Foxy's collection. I'll get 25 cents out of it for my time and effort. I can't do that with everything, but. On a box of liquid nickels last night. Oh, nice, 38D, congratulations, brother. There's another 09 NIFC, that's five of them. All right, give me a second here. I'm going to update the board. Probably not that much, Foxy. They're not worth a ton, really. And I mean, it is, it's slightly circulated condition anyway. So it isn't, it isn't, I mean, I'd probably normally ask like a buck or a buck 50 a piece for them or something if I was selling them, not much. What do you still need, Vincent? Which nickel are you now looking for? Is it the 50D or something else? So I have one, two, three, four, five. So that puts us at 16 Nifsies for the night. Hey, one roll, how you doing? I wanted to pop on earlier and Google just signed me out of my account without any warning. Well, that's weird. Looking for the 39D. I wanted to pop in earlier one roll, but I have uh, I had my in-laws in town and we were kind of down in the living room there for a while. So I hope the hunt went good. I've missed catching you the last few weeks. You're usually on right before um, 
right when I'm up here. Huh, that's not what I thought that was going to be. That is not what I thought that was going to be. Do you see it? That thing looked like a regular old 2021 or something. And it is a beautiful 1967. She's a blingin'. Look at the edge on that thing. It looks gold like a 2021 does from the side and the light. We'll take it. 40% in the box, Walker. We got you something. How about that? No, your eyes are not. They're playing tricks on me. I did not think that's what that was going to be. I just was peeking. I thought it was going to be a 21 or something. And sure enough, we got us a 40 percenter. Another one on the board. I will take it. Very nice. So now we have five Nipsies and a 40. Let's go ahead and get that added. Oh, good. You gotta love a sleeper box. I, I would love to have one of them. It's been a minute for a good sleeper box. All right, on to the next roll. That was a nice looking 67. I did not think that's what that was gonna be at all. I thought it was gonna be a 2021, maybe a proof. And to my surprise, it was not. How good was the sleeper box one roll? It had to be at least 12. I think that's the rule, right? Sleeper box is 12, if I remember correctly. Almost a year. That's been a minute. Two skunk boxes for coin flip. There's been a lot of skunk boxes going around for people I've been hearing. So we have been, uh, we did pretty good. I mean, we're on a little bit of a streak here. Last two streams. I had a couple decent boxes in that last video. So I'm pretty happy. No complaints for me. All right. At least 15 with no ender and 20 with one ender. Wow. Very nice. I have not had a box. I think my best of the year this year was 9 or 10. So it has been a little bit of a tough go, but we're finding silver. It's just a little slower than it used to be. 71D. I need Walker Magnet to find me another nice sister box. Seventy one D, no dice. All right. Two forties on the night. No ender. We ended up with seventeen. Nice. And we are at seventy five likes. Let me finish this roll up. And we will do the seventy five likes next. Coming up here. We get through this roll. There's an eighty two D. 72D. Seventy one D. Nineteen eighty three. All right, that is it. All right, let's do that seventy five likes. 76. I forgot I usually use my phone. Thanks, Ron, for getting it done. There it is right there. 75 likes for tonight. First time on the computer in about six months. All right. 
Here we go. I'm going to get back over to the night bot. We will refresh. And mods keyword will be 75 likes to get in. 75 likes. Give me just a second. I'm going to run and hit the restroom real quick. I usually don't have to do this during the stream, but I must have had too much coffee today. I will be right back. Hang tight, everybody. Who do we have? We got 45 people eligible for the 75 likes. 45 eligible. And we have 59 watching. I'm going to switch over and we are going to go ahead and draw a winner. Get in if you did not. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. And the winner is Michael Spicer. Congratulations, Michael Spicer. You have won the 75 likes. Let me know if you would like to see it or not, or I will just send it along. I should do the date, 32324. Ooh, that's a good idea. I could do that. We could do that for something different. All right. Congratulations, Michael Splicer. And he says, just send it. All right, we're going to do it. We will send it along to Michael. Thank you very much, Michael. Congratulations. Appreciate you being here every week and hanging out with us. On we go. We have 18 rolls left in the box. We got 140, five NIFC so far through this one. Let's see if we can get lucky and get another shiny or not. You are welcome. Thought maybe that was going to be a proof. It's a big old thick 82. 72D. Not it. 2022. There's that big, thick 82D. It is not the no FG. Another 72D. Still not the no FG. All right. Another roll down. Here we go. Oh, there we got one. Is that going to be another 90? I think it's going to be a 40. See it right there? Fifth one in. And it is another 1968. Had a pretty white looking edge on it, but it is just a 68. I say just a 68 like it don't count, but we'll take it. Another 40 percenter in the box. Congratulations, brother. We got two. 
We got two. Maybe this is finally the box that you needed right here. We got Walker Magnet, a good one. We got two. We'll take it. I got to add that to the count here. Just a second. Let me finish this roll up. 1983, not the no FG. All right. Let me add that one in as well. 40% or number three on the night. I hope this is a sign that things are picking up. I hope. Number three for the 40s. Now we need that proof. We need a 90. We need to fill the boards, what we need to do. We need to get it filled. Give us some more 40s. They don't have to stop now. I will take another one. I'd really like to have a 90 is what I'd like to have. 74D. Nope. Uh, let's see. That was, we have uh, 25, 30, 35. This right here is roll 36. Roll 36 right here. Roll 36. Come on. Come on, let us have another one here. There's a 71D. 2023, we don't want any of those. 72D. Not the DDO. Why can we not find a DDO anymore? It's been a long time. All right. All right. We have 13 rolls left after this one. 72D. No. 71D, got some ring of death going. Not going to be it. Come on, give us something here. There's a 1983. Not the no FG. All right, 12 rolls left after this one. 12 rolls. Do not see any enders on this. Give us some goodies here. BMC says if he can fit 500 subscribers on or before April 13th, he has got a one ounce buffalo round that he will give away to somebody if he can get to 500. Call your family, call your friends, get him over to VMC. It looks like we need to get him to 500. One ounce round, he says. Very generous, Vinny. Very generous, as you always are. 72D. Come on. Oh, we got a proof. We got a proof. 1981S. It's rough. But it is a proof right there. I can see it. 81S proof. We filled another hole. Filled another hole in this box. That is awesome. Let's get that bad dad on the board now. We only need a 90. We need a 90. Ooh, this is exciting. We haven't done this in a while. We haven't been this close. There is the proof. Got it. All right. Here we go. I like where this is headed. Come on, we 
we still got time. We got time still. We have 10 rolls left in this box yet. 10 rolls still. We can get it done. We just need a 90. Come on, box. 71D. We just need a little cooperation. A little bit of cooperation. We can make it happen here. Trying to stretch it out so we can enjoy it. Well, I appreciate it. I'll take it. I will take it. Come on. Nine rolls left after this one still. I want to see another shiny. I want to see another shiny. Of course, right now, you're still in the skunk zone, Walker Magnet. You still got a skunk 90 coming the way it sits. So that's the good news. One more 40 percenter will put a dent in that plan. But let's see what happens. No, nope, we got one more. Uh, Sean Walker, Walker Magnet has a second box. There's another NFC 2017. We're now one Nipsey away from a 40 percenter. One Nipsey from a 40 percenter. There's a 74D. Not the DDO. Come on. Let us have it. Seventy two D, not the DDO. Well, I'd like to enjoy the next box this much, Walker Magnet. If you don't mind stretching the next one out with a little silver, too, that would be good. I will take that. All right. Six rolls after this one. Six rolls. This is the same bank we had the proofs in from last week. We had enough last week to fill the board. We just picked the wrong boxes. 73D. Ninety-four. 74D. Pretty nice one. Not the DDO. All right. Down to the last... Six rolls here, down to the last six, and we get something else out of this thing. Another 74D. Seventy-one D. Uh, the auction will start probably somewhere right around ten o'clock. Jesse, somewhere around 10. All right, come on. Give us some goodies here. We still got time. We're running out. There's still a little bit of time. There's a 2001. That's not going to do it. 77D, first one of those tonight. Not the DDO on that one. 72D. All right, three rolls left after this one. Seventy four D. Hey, Chris Helms, how you doing? Seventy one D. And nada. Three rolls left. Three rolls left. Twenty 
22. There's a pretty nice 83. Not the no FG though. Come on, 74D. All right, we just got a couple rolls left in this box. Two 40s. Trying to get one more. 1983. Not the no FG. All right, last two rolls here. Last two rolls. Seventy one D. Seventy two D. Not the no FG. Another seventy two D. Oh, we got a visitor. We got a visitor. Look who came to visit. The Nuggies here. My grandbaby and my daughter are hanging out with us tonight. So there's little Travis came to visit. Can you say hi, buddy? Tell him hi. Tell him hi. No, not going to do it. He just woke up. He just woke up. There's a the little giggles and stuff, so. But, yeah, there's the grandson, Travis. He's been with us most of the day today, so it's been fun. Yep, he's sticking his tongue out to Grandma. Mm -hmm. They're playing games across the desk. All right, you want to go downstairs? <laughs> All right, love you, buddy. Have fun. He's so handsome. He's so handsome. Lynn always says, he's fantastic. He's fantastic. And they even wrote a book about it. <laughs> they even wrote a book, that's right. <laughs> Hugs with nugs, there you go. That's a good one, Mark. I like it. So we have enjoyed having him around for sure. He has been a treat. So, so we will see him again probably tomorrow. My in-laws are in town for a good portion of tomorrow before they leave. So we are going to hang out with them again in the morning. All right, that is it, Walker Magnet. Unfortunately, just the two, but I'm not going to complain. Yeah, so, yeah, he is a cutie. We love having him around. She's, she's Lynn's mini-me. She is, really, actually, so... I have no complaints there. She's been a great mom so far. She's doing a really great job. So, all right, we got one more Nipsey to add. One more Nipsey. And you're going to luck out still, Walker Magnet, and you are going to get your Skunk 90. We didn't get 90% silver in the box. We only got 240s, which I'm going to say equals 80. So we're going to roll with it. So let me know what you would like for your Skunk 90. CU3 says, hard to leave silver in the boxes. I don't blame you there. One more NIFC. So that is going to be 17 of them on the night. Cat Busty says, hey, Diggin' Dave. How you doing? How are you? All right, so NIFC-wise, Walker, I'm going to be generous. I'm going to trade you a 40 if you would like it. You have $3 face. If you would like a 40 for center for those, I will trade that. And you would like a Benji for the Skunk 90. There is that right there. So there is your 40 for the NIFCs and another Benji. Do you want me to send the proof or not? Your choice. Good, Dave. I hope you're doing well, my friend. I popped in on a few minutes of the live streams here and there, but... envelope we're gonna go ahead and run the next duck race I got a nicer one I got from you I can send you <laughs> I have 
These all still sitting here. Remember that that proof dumpy sort of box you sent me, Walker Magnet, before? Here's all the ones you sent me. Well, that's an NRC. Oh, that's the smoking one. So there's the ones right there. I think that was a box I got from you a while ago that had like 11 of them in it. I got lots of proofs around. Lots of proofs. Do some pennies later on the stream. I'm try I tried to watch one the other night, Dave. I'm just going to be... We were talking about it earlier. I've tried yours and Southern Metals. I can't watch the vertical live streams. I just can't do it. I cannot get myself to do it. I do not enjoy them for whatever reason. Nothing against it, but I just, I can't. For whatever reason, I don't know why. Yeah, we could do that, Vinny. That's a good idea. But, yeah, I, I've been trying to watch them, but they're bugging me for whatever reason. <laughs> I don't know why. All right. Okay. We are going to go ahead and do the duck race next. Duck race number two for the night. This one is going to be for... A 1948 Cinco Peso. 1948 Cinco Peso. There it is right there if you are interested. It will be a $5 per spot donation on that one. $5 per spot donation. Let me start getting some names down here. I have John Bryan. Robert, Ortega, Shelba, Busby, Namaste, AK. Yeah, we haven't seen Sober Addiction tonight. All right, let me make sure I didn't miss anybody. I have John Bryan, Robert Ortega, Shell Bell, Busby, Namaste, AK Grizz, One for Walker. Thank you, John Bryan. Very generous of you. That leaves one, two, three, four, five spots available. Five spots available still. If there is interest, it is a $5 donation per spot. No problem, Foxy. No problem. Valerie and Martin, that will leave three spots. Three spots still available. AK says he will do a second. I'll open it to seconds. Nobody else is jumping in. If anybody else would like a second, let me know. Robert says he will do another that leaves one spot. One spot available still if there is interest. And one for Michael Erickson. Man, John Bryan is a generous man tonight. Very generous, John. And it will be Michael Erickson is going to get the last spot. Very nice of you, John. Vinny says four choufflés. Four shuffles. All right. We're going to shake up which race we're going to do here real quick. All right. Names, edit list. All right, we have Robert 
Ortega, Shell Bell, Busby. Just about ready. We should be ready to roll here. Good luck, racers. Thank you, everybody, for the donation. I appreciate it very much. Good luck to everybody. All right, here we go. Get over to the computer screen. There we are. 2.22 on the clock. We're going to do an Easter egg race since Easter is closing in on us here. We're going to have four shuffles. One, two, three, four. There we go. Good luck, everybody. And we are off. A.K. Grizz out to the early lead, but here comes Martin Bowen. He can't quite get there. Right now it's A.K. versus A.K. out front. A.K. is running away. A.K. Grizz still out front. Here comes Robert Ortega, though. He is moving on up. He will take the lead. Robert Ortega out front. <clears throat> Here comes Valerie. And Valerie will now take the lead. And Martin comes up. It is back and forth in the front. One minute to go. One minute. Martin is hanging on. Here comes Namaste making a move. Can't quite hang in there. Martin up front. AK Grizz now back to the lead. Now Busby out front. Can he hang on? Nope, Robert Ortega is going to move back up front. 
as well as the other Robert Ortega into the lead. Under 30 seconds now, under 30 seconds. Back and forth out front. Who is going to make the move here? 15 seconds to go, 15 seconds. Who is it going to be? Valerie Bowen to the lead. Will she hang on? Five seconds to go, five seconds. Here comes Walker Magnet. I think he's going to do it. And he will. Walker Magnet with the win. Courtesy of John Bryan. Congratulations, Walker. Very nice of you, John, to do that. Very nice. I appreciate it a ton. Thank you, everybody, for the donations. Definitely appreciated. All righty. Congrats to Walker Magnet. He's going to walk away with a duck race win as well. How about that? Walker Magnet with the big win. Congratulations, sir. Walker Magnet with the win. Oh, yeah, the next to last winner. Uh oh, I already erased it. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot, Vinny, and I erased it already. I already shut it off. If Alabama had a lotto, I'd go out and buy you a ticket. I already shut it off, Vinny. I wasn't thinking about it. I think I am going to start doing that. I'm going to start doing a consolidation prize. And I think it's going to be whoever finishes second to last is going to get a little prize. I think we're going to start throwing that in. <clears throat> it was AK Grizz. All right, AK Grizz. You were second to last, Robert says. We're going to start it up tonight. This is going to be a new tradition. I am going to do a silver dime for next to last. At least you got something out of it. We have a Merc Dime, so we're going to start adding that to all the races. Going forward, we're going to have a consolation prize for second to last, just because it's kind of a different number. And it may not always be a dime. It could be something different, but I'm going to start doing that, I think, every race, just as a, another way to walk away with something. So let me get an envelope here. Great, great idea, Vinny. I like it. I even upped the ante a little bit. Instead of the proof, I went dime instead. So congrats, AK. All right, Foxy. All right, and we are doing, it was CU3, right, Walker? Is that the one you wanted to do? I'm trying to remember back. I didn't write it down. I'm pretty sure it was CU3. Hey, Jimmy J, how you doing? Was that it? Was it CU3? Yes, CU3. All right, CU3 it is. All right, see you, Foxy. All right, CU3. The next one, Walker Magnet says, CU3, he says. All right. There is the CU3. Right there. Let's open this bad boy up. Let's see what we got. Good luck to you, Walker Magnet. You need to get us a 90, sir. No pressure to finish this thing out and do a fill the board. And I do not see anything on top, not even an NIFC. So let's hunt them. Let's see what happens. Oop, check my email. All right, just a minute. I will check my email. Then he says, do it. Oh, 
okay, got it. I forgot about that. Yes, I forgot, Vinny. VMC also donated a prize for next to last place. I just had them here. Where did I set them? I just had them. There they are right there. I forgot. Vinny donated this for next to last place as well. My apologies, Vinny. I get rolling on this sometimes and I forget. So my apologies. This was also the next to last price prize. Vinny emailed me about this earlier tonight. So a Westward Journey Nickel Series set also will also be coming to you as well, AK. Right there it is. So we're going to send that along as well to AK Grizz. Thank you, Vinny. Very generous of you to do that. Vinny bought a couple of those. He also bought one to donate to the chest. We are going to add that in there later before we get out of here for the night. So we're going to add one of those to the chest as well. Compliments of VMC. So that is right here. I'm going to set it out so I do not forget about it. Holy cow, Jimmy J. Best ever box of halves today. 30, 40 percenters. Apparently, it can still happen. It does. It does still happen all the time. Very cool. Very, very cool, Jimmy J. That is awesome. All right, here we go. Roll number one, box two, four Walker Magnet. Let's see what else we can add. To the board for tonight. Hopefully something. 1973. Not the DDO. Very nice of you for sure, Vinny. Thank you very much. It's appreciated, my friend. Seventy one D. Not the DDO. And a 73D to finish out the roll. Also, not the video. Yeah, that is a super box, Jimmy J. They do still happen. They're out there. All the time, they're out there. Literally, it is these, the luck of getting the right box off the truck when they go out and getting it into your hands. And sometimes that's all it takes. All right, here we go. We had silver in the other box, the sister box of this, so hopefully there is some in here. We will have another WB box available for Tuesday. I do have one left, as well as a couple of PB boxes that I am supposed to pick up Tuesday, so... Very nice of you still, Vinny. I appreciate it. I know everybody else does too. All right, on to roll number three here. Roll three. All right, Silver, come on. You don't have to wait. We can just get it out in the open right now and get it on the board. That would be all right. 71D. All right, nothing through roll three. Oh, that is awesome, AK. Officially retired, huh? So are you done with your collectible stuff too? Or is that a retirement gig? Just curious, but congratulations on the retirement, brother. I hope I can make it there one of these days. I am hoping. Huge congrats. I only asked about that because I have sent a few people over to your site, your site before in the past that are people I know that like knives. So I was just curious if I should continue to do that. 
or not. I don't know if they bought anything or not, never said, but I said, hey, I know a guy that sells knives. Check him out. Oh my gosh, Mr. Box. 72D. And a 2022. Our friend, the 2022s. Okay, work retired. All right. Well, congrats, man. That's awesome. I hope one of these days. Whoa, lost a coin on that roll. It broke open. I hope I'll be able to do the same thing. It probably won't be at 62, but I'm at least hoping to be able to retire. We'll see. 1972D. Do you have any claims out there, AK? I feel like you said you did. That's pretty cool. There's times when I've watched it on TV, it looks really fun. And there's times when I've watched it on TV, it doesn't look very fun, so. All right, here we go, roll. This is roll number seven already. And a 2023, boo. We want shinies. Not that kind of shiny. 73D. Things are melting and the camper's getting ready to go. Well, if you can, give us an update on how it goes. I'm sure when you're, when you're out there, there won't be much for a uh, service, cell service, but when you can pop in, let us know how you're doing. That sounds like a ton of fun. Yeah, claim would be awesome. Like I said, there's times when it looks fun, and there's times when it doesn't on TV, but I have never done any gold prospecting. Something I wouldn't mind doing someday, but as of yet, I have not. Not done it yet. All right, 73D, no dice. Come on, give us some silver. Eighty-six likes, I think we're gonna make a hundred again tonight. I got a good feeling about it. Got a good feeling. <laughs> Valerie expands funny. And he says, you're killing me. Don't be telling her that stuff, Benny. Nobody needs a bigger honeydew list. 72D. there is one in this box I would love to see it happen it's been a few weeks since we made it happen so tonight would be a good night to get off the schneid and get the box filled or a fill the board should I say not the box filled but we need the box filled with the right things My list never gets finished, he says. Does anybody's? <coughs> really, does anybody's get finished ever? All right, come on. Come on, sister box. 71D, no dice. Foxy is back. 
That was the world's fastest shower, Foxy. I don't see any looking back at me in there that look like they're the right type of shiny stuff. Seventy-two D. Well, you know who else we haven't seen tonight? We have not seen Treasure Charger tonight. It just dawned on me we have not seen him pop in either. The Treasure Charger. Seventy-one D. Like a minute and still get clean. I haven't taken a one minute shower and I couldn't tell you when. Mine are like 20 minutes in the morning and it takes every drop to get me awake. Get awake and ready to go. Oh, come on, box. This is not the way. This was supposed to be here, 74D. We needed to see some shiny by now. There's a 1983, not to know FG. Six lock sets. That sounds like a easier day, Patrick. Hey, GA, how you doing, brother? Today, that palladium is more scarce than gold and valued less than gold. I believe that is correct. And Russia has most of it. Of course, they do. It's usually either Russia or China, they have it, one or the other. 83, not the no FG. 2022. This box certainly has a different look to it than the other one. I have not seen NIFCs. We were finding them in the other one about every third roll or fourth roll we were finding NIFC and we have not seen one yet. I think I own any platinum or palladium. I think the only platinum bar that I had, one gram bar, I put in the duck race a while back because it's not something that I'm super geeked about. John found the 90. All right. Way to go, John. What was it? A 64? Was it a 64 or something else? I wish we could find one so we could fill the board and give away more stuff. Um, just about there, AK, I had uh, several people send me more coins, so it has taken me a little longer. I was waiting for a couple, but 1940, Walking Liberty, all right. But I should, if all goes well, I should start filming that video this week and getting everything ready for submission as long as nothing crazy happens. That is my plan. I have plenty of content filmed. I don't need to hunt any boxes this week for content, so I should be good to go. I just need to get that done. Oh, and GA found a proof 90? We need a 90. How come we can't get one? Yeah, I think in total, AK, I think I have like 30 coins going in. There's going to be a bunch. So I just got some from Silver Addiction sent me some. I just got those last week. Late last week, I believe it was. Filled the board and back-to-back -back boxes. That's nice. Yeah, it'll be really good, I think, AK. Um, 
the video and stuff for that. But yeah, there's a bunch of stuff going in. I have your coins going. I think I have at least three, maybe four of my own. I have 19 coins that Silver Addiction sent. I have some that Martin sent that are getting broken out and regraded. And I have some other ones that uh, Trucking sent me that are going in. So there's going to be a bunch. I got the Barber. Yeah, that's right. I did get the Barber. I forget about that already. That was one of the highlights of my coin roll hunting career for me was finding that barber in a box because <clears throat> oh that's right Lori isn't here either tonight missing Lori and treasure charger tonight there's a 71d not the do yeah i do have to do a mail call too i got my uh Silver Eagle from AEH, he sent it because we had a bet on Barber, who found the first Barber, and uh, he sent that out a week after, and it's sitting over there in the mail. I need to get a mail call done, I still got a collection here to go through. A little behind, I am a little behind. Me too, AK. I think it's going to be fun. I have three uh, 1996 W dimes in the original government packaging that are going in to get graded as well. So it should be interesting, I think, for sure. I'm breaking my 99 white AM out of the case and sending that back in. Um, I have that uh, Cap CC Morgan, I believe I am going to send in. And I'm looking at some, some Benjis that are pretty nice. I'm trying to decide if I want to take a shot on sending one with full bell lines or not. Because if I do not get the designation, I'm pretty much upside down in it. So I got like six of them I keep looking at trying to decide which one I want to send. I can't land on one that I'm sure about, but I feel like one of them probably is, but I hate uh, I hate the idea of sending it in and then basically you're upside down in the coin almost double. All right, first roll, bottom half, Walker Magnet, first roll, bottom half of the box. We have not had a single find yet out of this one, not even an NIFC. Yeah, it will definitely be an interesting video and an interesting reveal when they all come back. So, And that if possible, I plan on sending everything in economy just to try to keep the grading prices down as much as possible. But I will let everybody know once I get them ready to go, the final price for grading. I know I have, uh, I think AK sent me money for his. It's going to cover most of it already. So... should be good. It should be good. There is an 82. That's what I want to see too, Martin. That's like that 99 white am I got. I know they were wrong on that. I'm hoping it goes in there and not only do I get the designation, it ends up being a 65. I'd be happy if it was still 64. I would love to see it be a 1960 or a MS65 because that would, uh, I think that adds about another 50 bucks on to the price value wise. That would be pretty sweet. Of course, I have not checked the price on those recently, so I'll have to look at that again. But I think at one time it made a big difference. 
Seventy-two D. Have to know FG. Another seventy-two D. Seventy-one D. Yep, the pennies can be valuable. You get the right ones, that is for sure. At 99 white AM and like a, you can get one in like a 67. That is a, that's a good one. Considering you only got a penny in it before grading, I mean, that would be pretty amazing. 72D. All right. Nineteen rolls left. Nineteen left. Apparently this was not packaged at the same time as the other box walker magnet. It doesn't seem like to me. You just don't have the same feel to this one. Eighty-three, not the new FG, seventy-one D, and not the DDO. All right, come on. This box is sucking the wind out of my sails a little bit. I was pretty excited. I am not seeing the things we've seen in that last one. That's the one reason I wish these boxes had pack dates and stuff on them, because then you would have an idea of which boxes were packed together. But these ones just don't do that. Does anybody else have dates on their Brinks boxes? I've never seen it. I only see them on the Loomis boxes. It's the only ones I see dates or anything on. 73D. Yeah, we did get a few. I was hoping for a few more. These have been the hot boxes lately. They've been the CU boxes, but this one just is not showing the same flare. Yours are never dated. Mine, mine either. Don't see them on NF String and Sons. Yeah, the only ones I've ever seen a date on is Loomis. Never seen one on anything else before. Yeah, we, uh, I don't know if maybe Martin's typing back. Yeah, AK, we sent those pennies in for Martin a while back. It is the formative years FS802. It's the extra thumb or the double thumb, whatever you want to call it. And um, we both felt like, from looking at photos online, we should have had at least one of them that was a 67. Ended up with two 66s. And two 65s and a 64. They were all out of uncirculated mint rolls. So, directly from the mint. So it just seems to me that one of them, I mean, they were pretty nice. Just felt like one of them should have been a 67. A couple of 66s and a few 65s and that was it. I was pretty disappointed. That, I didn't get the designation for my wide AM.
Yeah, even a 66 plus would have made all the difference. But it don't look like, from looking online, that on pennies, at least that one, there is none of them that are anything with a plus grade. I don't know why that is, but for some reason, PCGS is fired, he says. I agree. I am not sending anything back to them. I canceled. Well, I didn't cancel it. I set my membership so it couldn't renew. And I am not renewing with PCGS. I'm going to try out NGC and see how that goes. But based on how busy NGC is, I feel like we're not the only ones who are probably currently doing that. Because they are backed up a ways from everything I heard. So... I was actually hoping if I took a little bit longer, they would uh, free up there, but uh, I have it up here, Foxy. I, I glanced over it once. I want to check something else on it, but I will let you know. I'll bring it back on Monday. So I did not get to put the full amount of time I wanted to in earlier, so I am not going to confirm or deny yet at this point. Yep, there's another proof. We got one of those. 1988. She's a rough looking one. Proof number two of the night. We have been slow getting proofs this year too. Let me get that added to the board. Hey, Pos Bear Time. Did you guys get skunked today? No, it's not really in that great a condition, Foxy. That is proof number two on the night. We currently have 11 rolls left to go. We have been holding our own pie here the last couple of weeks. It's been a little bit tough, but... We have been doing it. Eighty-six, seventy-three. There's a eighty-three. Skunk for only the fourth time in a hundred and forty some streams. Woo! I wish I could say that. I wish I could say that. We had about Seven streams in a row earlier this year. We got nada. But things have picked up a little bit the last couple weeks. January was fantastic. Compared to how it had been. But hopefully it will get better. 2001. There's a 74D. Not the DDO. Ooh, nice, 52 Canadian cent for Brian. He is on it tonight. Yeah, that one's that's that's it right there, Fox. I wipe the side. It's if you wipe it off, it's not bad, but it's got some dusty gunk all over it. But we'll take it, proof nonetheless. All right, we have eight rolls left after this one, box two. This one has not been as exciting as the last one, Walker Magnet, for sure. Maybe we should have went with WB1. Maybe that was the plan. I don't know. after this one. Yeah, it's pretty bright. I thought you were talking about that half dollar. Sorry, Foxy. No, it's it's not bad. It is not bad. I will give you the full rundown of what I think it is when I bring it back. I'll write it out on a little sheet for you.
Boy, he said today was ugly. He must have not found much of anything. All right. Six rolls left now. 72D. Seventy three D. All right, we got about I say six rolls left. We will be getting into the auction after this box. I'll wash my hands and we'll get into the auction here. It'll probably be right about ten o'clock or a few minutes after. Hello. Somebody else told me that before. Yeah. Did you get the nugs home safely? He's all tucked in. All but tucked in? I got him home and changed his pantaloons and he decided he wanted to play and talk to me while he was on the table. And then he just went, like, well, maybe food. Okay, I'm tired now. He was tired. That was it. He was tired. Yep. Right? He was playing and playing and playing and all kinds of noise and noise. And well, that's not white. It sounded funny. It sounded funny. Was he goo goo gooing and ga ga ga? It's not really the noise he makes, but yes. Well, I know we don't, but that's. He was making all the noises and had all the. Best way to explain it. He was smiling and smiling. Everybody says hi. Hi, everybody. I'm going to bed. You're going to bed? I wanted to let you know that Mom said they'd probably be back around 10 tomorrow. Okay. Very good. Love you. you. Uh-oh. I think we got one. Take care, Pa. Second one in on the left. I don't know what it's going to be. It looks like it could be a 90. Maybe. It could be a 90. There is the reverse. 1964, we have filled the board. 1964, Philadelphia, we got it made. The board has been filled, Walker Magnet. You pulled it out, my friend. We have filled the board just like that. Very nice. It has been a minute. It took a while, but we made it happen. We only had four chances left. We had four chances left. We did it just in time. <laughs> Fill the board. My job is done. Woo, I was sweating, he said. He made it happen. Very nice, brother. Very nice. Oh, my gosh. Woo. That feels good to get that off there. I will update the board right after this roll, and it will be official. Fill the board. We got it done. All right, let's get that 90 added. And Jason Kinnick says, let's celebrate. How about five more Hunting Southwest Ohio memberships? Very nice, Jason. Once again, thank you, brother. I appreciate it very, very much. Pause spare time to Todd to Todd, Vincent Caparina, Brian Simon, and Guillaume Barnaby. Welcome back or welcome to the membership ranks. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you again, Jason. Very nice of you, brother. You and Namaste both for donating memberships tonight. Thank you, thank you. 90 is on the board. It is official. We have three rolls left to go. Can we get a 40 and really celebrate? How about that? Thank you, Jason. Can we get a 42? Why not? I say why not? There is a 71D. Welcome to the members ranks, everybody. Whew. We've been seeing
seen some 90s out of these boxes the last weeks, a couple weeks here. The CU boxes have been getting the job done. There it is. One more roll after this. Can we get last roll luck again? We did it once tonight. Box one. Can we do it again? 73D. Nope. Seventy one D. Piece dollar equals fill the board. All right, last roll right here. Can we get a little last roll luck? A little last roll luck. And it doesn't look like it. We still got a 90 and we still filled the board. I will take it all day. Very nice. All right, that is going to do it right there. So we have a 90 and a proof. I'm assuming you do not want the proof walker magnet. We will get you the 90 here into your envelope. Thank you very much, brother. Unfortunately, no Nipsies that time around to get you any more silver, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Hey, Silver Addiction, how you doing, brother? So let me know on the proof. I'm assuming you don't want it, but that's all right either way. A little more silver on the board tonight. We have the sister box will be available on Tuesday, the last CU box that I have of the three this week. They had four. Now I'm saying I should have got the fourth one. I just didn't have enough cash with me. All right, Walker Magnet, thank you, my friend. Have a good night. We will see you later. I appreciate it. All righty. So there we go. Give me just a second. I'm going to go wash the hands real quick. When I get back, we are going to jump into the auction. We do need to make an envelope up quick. We will have a fill the board tonight. We will have a fill the board. Walker Magnet got the job done. I know what I'm going to give away for that. I just have not got it out yet. So I will be right back. Oh.
All right. We are back. I do have several dollar start items tonight as well that will be happening. Let me get this out of the way. Grab the auction goods. Let's see. We got one there. One there. One here. Back here behind me just in case we get to those. Alrighty. Here we go. Auction time, everybody. I'm ready to roll. If there is interest, looks like I missed some finds. Yeah, we had a few good ones, Ron. We got to pull the 90 out at the end of the last box, so we will have a fill the board giveaway tonight. And we're gonna go ahead and get started with the auction. Um, I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of stuff next week. I did not have time to get it priced tonight. I will show you real quick next week the other items that I have to price. These will all start showing up in the auction next week if anybody's interested in this kind of stuff. So we have seated half. Seated half. This will be in the auction. Yes, I know it's hold. You do not see these all that often. This will be in the auction next week. This is a 1860 seated dollar. I believe this was just over 200,000 minute, even with the hole in it. These are not very often that you find these. This will show up next week in the auction as well. We also have, let's see here. I have another seated half. These are a couple of cat bus dimes. Those will show up next week. And I don't know if we'll see all of these next week. Cat bust half. Another cat bust dime. Cat bust half. Cat bust half. Another cat bust half. This one's a pretty nice one right here. 1835. We're gonna have seated quarter. Seated quarter, just to give you an idea, there's a bunch of half dimes. This will also be in there probably next week as well. This is a 1818, it's not in great shape, but it is a 1818 cat bust quarter. So we'll have some goodies next week. I just looked at my typeset and my wallet is crying. There's some good ones that'll be in here, so got seated dimes, seated half dimes, cat bust half dimes, cat bust half, cat bust quarter. There's a bunch of stuff. So there will be a bunch of stuff next week. Like I said, just did not have time to price it. So we are going to start out tonight with this will be the first item of the night. If there's any interest in this, this is a 1970 coinage of Great Britain set. Great Britain and Northern Ireland, 1970. Just to give you a quick look at it, there is your COA and whatnot that comes with it. And there are the coins right there. Pretty cool. You got a half crown, a two shilling, a six pence, one shilling, one shilling, one penny, half penny, I can't even read the other one. It's so bright on the bottom. The brass or gold looking one. So this is going to be a dollar start on this. 
If there is interest, dollars start 1970. Coins of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, 1970. One dollar start if there is interest. Boxy the Coin Hunter is at one. Shell Bell top bidder now at five. Shell Bell top bidder at five. Namaste is at six. AK Grizz is at ten. AK Grizz, ten dollars now top bid. Namaste says he is out. AK Grizz top bid at ten. AK Grizz top bid at ten. Foxy is out. AK Grizz top bid at ten dollars. And we are going once. Busby comes in at eleven. Busby now the top bidder at eleven dollars. Shell Bell says she is out. Busby top bidder at eleven. Busby top bidder at eleven dollars. The seated dollar, Foxy. I have to look it up. I haven't. I haven't looked at. I looked at the minage. I haven't looked at any pricing. I'm sure it's going to be even in that condition. It's probably going to be well over a hundred dollars. I think in. I think in. High VG, low fine. They probably, if that didn't have that hole in it, that's probably like a $400 coin. So I'll see. I'll check it out, but it'll be a little pricey. Busby top bidder at 11 going once. Going once to Biz Busby at $11. He is now the top bidder. Busby top bidder now at 11 and we are going twice to Busby at $11. Busby top bidder at $11. Alright, last call on this one. Busby is the top bidder at 11 Last call on this item if there is interest. Last call on this item if there is interest. Top bidder, $11. Busby and sold at $11 to Busby. Thank you very much, Busby. I appreciate it. Nice pickup. These are going for probably around $22 to $25 online. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. $11 to Busby. Uh, there might be some of those that will pop into the auction again next week, Foxy. I got one in here tonight that will be at a dollar start, I believe. But All right, next item for tonight, if there is interest, I have a 1965 Special Mint set. This is sealed. It has not been opened. Sealed 1965 Special Mint set, if there is interest. Starting bid on this will also be at one dollar. One dollar starting bid. Unopened 1965 special mint set. Unopened 65 special mint set. VMC is at three. Namaste is at eight. AK Grizz 25. AK Grizz 25. He come out of the gate. Ready to go. AK Grizz top bidder $25 on the 1965 special mint set. AK Grizz top bidder at 25. Namaste says 26. AK says 27. Namaste 28. We have a battle. We have a battle. It is a 1965 special mint set. AK Grizz now top bidder at 30. AK Grizz now top bidder at $30. Namaste says she is all yours. And we are going once to AK at 30. 
AK top bidder at $30. And we are now going twice. Going twice to AK at $30. He is the top bidder. Last call on this item if there is interest. Last call on this item. 1965 Special Mint Set Top Bidder AK Grizz, $30. And sold to AK. Thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate it. $30 to AK Grizz on the 65 Special Mint Set. Two add-ons. Yes, what would you like, AK? I have. Here's what I have for add-ons. I should have said this. I have the ASEs, I have Blue Ikes, oh I'm sorry to hear that Silver Addiction, I have Blue Ikes, I also have a few rolls of Eisenhower's left as well as some 82 commemoratives. So those are the add-ons that I have available tonight if you have interest in any of those. Two different ASCs. All right, I have 2001, 2005, 2002, and 2004. I don't know if it matters to you, your choice. That's what I have available. 2001, 2002, 01 and 02, they are yours. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. All right, let me see here. Thank you, AK. I appreciate it. All right. Yes, that's correct, AK. 34 each. 34 each. Thank you. All right. Next item for tonight. What else do we want to do? Let's do something. Let's do this. I have a 1973 S, 1973S proof Eisenhower. Nineteen seventy-three S Eisenhower proof sixty-nine. It's annex grade annex graded. If there is any interest in this, I'm gonna start this out at $20 if there is interest. I know that probably seems high, but it's really not. 1973S, Proof 69, Deep Cameo Eisenhower. It is the clad variety, I believe. It does not say silver on it, so I'm assuming this is going to be the clad variety. there's interest in that let me know if not we will move on to another item I got silver addiction to laugh when he was sick yeah it's a different annex holder I don't know when this got graded chicken man Dan says he is in for 20 chicken man Dan is in for 20 on the proof 69 1973 s Ike Chicken Man Dan, $20. And we are going once to the Chicken Man at $20. Going once to the Chicken Man at $20. Chicken Man Dan, top bidder at $20. And we are now going twice. Going twice to Chicken Man Dan at $20.
1973S roof. Last call on this item if there is interest. Last call. I think I've seen holders online like this, but I have not seen one in person. I bought it from a very trusted source, so I'm assuming that it is good to go. Last call on this one, Chicken Man Dan, $20. And sold to Chicken Man Dan for $20. It does have a number on the back, so I am sure it is good to go. Thank you, Chicken Man. I appreciate it. my pen go right there thank you very much chicken man I appreciate it All right, let's see here. What do we want to do next? What do we want to do next? All right, let's see here. do this next. Those that happen to be putting together a Walking Liberty Half Dollar book, I have a 1917 1917 S. This is the obverse mint mark. You can see it right there, S 1917. 1917S obverse mint mark. If there is any interest in this, I will be looking for $34 on this one if there is interest. 1917S. Walking Liberty half dollar. And that is a lower mintage one as well, 1917S. $34 on that one, and the mintage is, I usually write this on the sheet, but I failed to write it down. 1970S, 17S obverse mint mark, 952,000. 952,000 minute. John says, hang on, I'm checking my book. I'm checking my book, he says. $34 on this one. I'll give John a second to check his album, see if he needs that one or not. Yes, it is a obverse S. Obverse S. $34, John Bryan is now the top bidder. Dad Learning Coins jumps in at 35. Dad Learning Coins at 35 on a 1917 obverse S. Dad Learning Coins now the top bidder at 35. $35 now. Dad Learning Coins top bidder. Uh, great on that one's probably going to be probably a VG6 maybe. It's not a great, it's not a high grade one. Dad Learning Coins is now at 40. Dad Learning Coins top bidder at 40. Dad Learning Coins top bidder $40 on this one. Dad Learning Coins top bidder at 40. And we are going once to Dad Learning Coins at $40. John Bryan says he is out. Dad Learning Coins top bidder at $40. 
Ricky Desconi is also out, and we are now going twice to Dad Learning Coins at $40. Dad Learning Coins at $40. Last call on this one if there is interest. $40, Dad Learning Coins top bidder. Last call. Last call and sold it to Dad Learning Coins at 40. Congratulations, Dad Learning Coins. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Congratulations. I don't run across these very often. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Needed that one for the book. All right, there it is. Dad Learning Coins 40. Thank you very much, my friend. Next item, I want to get rid of this. This is the album that all those came out of. I bought the entire thing. There was a few holes that were not filled. So I have this album I am also going to offer up. I'm starting it at $6 to cover shipping. $6 to cover shipping, 1916 through 1940. Walking Liberty Halves, it is a Whitman album. If there's any interest in that, it does have the slides in it. So if there's any interest in that, starting at 6 to cover shipping. Dad Learning Coins, top bidder at 11 Dad Learning Coins, top bidder at $11. It is an old one, yes. It is an older one of their books. Yeah, only through 40 I think it may be, I don't know that it's that old, but what was the publishing date on this? 1960. It was published in 1960. Dad Learning Coins, top bidder at 11 and we are now going once. Going once to Dad Learning Coins at 11 We did all right, Aaron. Thanks for stopping in. We will see you on Tuesday. Take care. I don't know if you're still driving or not, but drive safe if you are, my friend. We'll see you Tuesday night. All right, we are now going twice to Dad Learning Coins at 11. Going twice to Dad Learning Coins at $11. Last call on this one if there is interest. Last call. Walking Liberty half dollar album. Dad Learning Coins top bidder at 11. And sold to Dad Learning Coins for $11. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, next item for tonight, I got another dollar start item here. Unfortunately, it is hold. 1953 with arrow seated quarter. It's a darn shame because this had great detail on it. It does also have the rays. 1853 with arrows seated Liberty quarter. Starting bid on that is a buck. Arrows and rays. If there is interest, it's a darn shame somebody did that. It is a darn shame. Dad Learning Coins, top bidder at 11. Now it is Foxy the Coin Hunter, 14. Dad Learning Coins, 15. Foxy the Coin Hunter, 17. Foxy the Coin Hunter, top bidder at 17. Dad Learning Coins at 20. Dad Learning Coins at 20. Foxy, 21. Dad Learning Coins is out. Foxy the Coin Hunter at $21.
is now the top bidder. We are going once to Foxy the Coin Hunter at 21. Going once to Foxy the Coin Hunter at 21. Foxy the Coin Hunter, top bidder, $21, and going twice, going twice to Foxy at $21, last call on this item if there is interest, $18.53, Seated Liberty Quarter with arrows and rays, dime nickel half, All right, and sold to Foxy at $21. Congratulations, Foxy. It is a darn shame somebody put that hole in that thing. That thing had some beautiful detail on it. Had lots of life left in it, and somebody went and put that hole in there probably about 130 years ago. Congratulations, Foxy. He got one finally. Foxy the Coin Hunter gets the... Seated Liberty Quarter. At $21. Thank you, Foxy. I appreciate it very much. Next item, we're going to go ahead and do another three or another one dollar start. Couldn't do 22. For what it is, it is a fair price. It's like I said, boy, I seen that when I picked all this stuff up, and I'm like, why did they have to put that hole in there? That thing was, it was a lot of detail left on it. So, next item, I'm gonna have a dollar start on this. If there's any interest in this, it is a Banco de Espana Cinco Posadas. It is from 1951. From Spain, 1951, Banco de Espana. It is a five Cinco Posadas. If there is interest in that, $1 start on the 1951 Spanish bill. Yep, you're good, Foxy. DMC top bidder at three. On the bill, Namaste comes rolling in at five. Namaste now at five dollars. Five dollars to Namaste. He is the top bidder on the bill. And we are going once. Going once to Namaste at five. Namaste, top bidder, $5 on the Banco de Espana 1951 bill. We are going twice to Namaste at five. Last call on this item if there is interest. Last call. Last call if there is interest. Robert Ortega pops in at six. Robert Ortega pops in at $6 now. Robert Ortega at six dollars on the 1951 Banco de Espana, and we're going once to Robert now at six. Going once to Robert at six dollars. Robert Ortega top bidder at six dollars now, and we are going twice. Going twice to Robert at $6. Last call on this item if there is interest. Last call, 1951. Cinco Posadas from Spain. And sold to Robert Ortega at $6. Thank you very much, Robert. I appreciate it.
And he says, put it in the chest. All right, we'll do that. We also got some nickels to throw in real quick. Let's take care of that business right now. Thank you very much, Robert. Another item for the chest. She's getting full. We may have to upgrade before the year's over. So there are the current goodies in there. And Robert Ortega is going to add another Cinco Posadas bill for $6. Thank you very much, Robert. And we also have a nickel set. Compliments of Vinnie Mays Coins. VMC he has donated this also to the chest. So thank you very much, Vinnie, as well. Uh, it doesn't matter, Robert. Either way is fine. I will figure it out. Thank you. I appreciate it. More goodies in the treasure chest. All right. Next item for tonight, since we're rolling along here. This will be the next item. This one is also going to be another dollar start. Another dollar start. We have a General Dwight David Eisenhower. This is a, I believe it is a copper round. I call upon all who love freedom to stand with us now together. We shall achieve victory. 1890 to 1969, his birth years. General Dwight David Eisenhower. One dollar start on that if there is interest on the Dwight David Eisenhower round or medal, whichever you would like to call it. Busby top bidder at five. Busby is the top bidder at five dollars. Busby top bidder at five. Busby top bidder at five dollars. And we are going once. Going once to Busby at five dollars. Busby top bidder at $5 on this one. And we are now going twice. Going twice to Busby at 5 Busby top bidder, $5 on the Dwight D. Eisenhower round. Last call on that round if there's anybody else interested. Dwight David Eisenhower round. Last call, top bidder, Busby at five. And sold it to Busby. Thank you very much, Busby. Five dollars, thank you. I appreciate it. All right, next item for tonight, if there is interest, if you have not had a chance to pick one of these up yet in any way, we've had a bunch of these in duck races and other places. I have right here, this is a 1960 Independencia, Independencia y Libertad. It is 90% silver, it is a Diaz Peso. If anybody has not had a chance to pick one of these up, starting bid on this will be one dollar start, one dollar start, 1960 Diaz Peso if there is interest. One dollar start on the Diaz Peso, 1960. AK Grizz is at 10. He is the top bidder currently. AK Grizz at 10. Namaste is at 12. Namaste, $12 now, top bidder. This is Melt of about $21 currently. Melt, AK Grizz, top bidder at $15. Silver Addiction is at $20. Silver Addiction now, top bidder at $20. 
Silver Addiction Top Bitter, $20 on the 1960 AK Grizz, $21. AK Grizz, $21 now. $21 AK Grizz, Top Bitter. And we are going once to AK at 21. Silver Addiction comes right back at 22. Silver Addiction now at $22. $22 to Silver Addiction. Top bidder now. And now we are going once to Silver Addiction at 22. Silver Addiction, top bidder, $22, 1960 Diaz Peso. And we're now going twice to Silver Addiction at $22. Going twice to Silver Addiction at $22. Uh, add on ASCs, I have left, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, I have seven more. AK Grizz comes back at 23. As I was getting ready to sell it, AK Grizz now the top bidder. AK Grizz top bidder at $23. $23 to AK Grizz. And we are now going once to AK. Going once to AK. Silver Addiction, 24. The battle is on. Michael's got his popcorn out. The battle has commenced. Silver Addiction now the top bidder at 24. And we are going once to Silver Addiction at 24. AKA, AKA says I am out. Silver Addiction, top bidder at 24. And we are now going twice, going twice to Silver Addiction at $24. Last call on this one, if there is interest. Last call on this item, 1960 Diaz Peso, 90% silver. Last call, top bidder, Silver Addiction, 24. And sold it to Silver Addiction. Thank you very much, my friend. He adds another piece of Mexican silver to the collection. Congrats, Silver Addiction. All right, there we go. All right, what do we got next here? All right, next we are going to go with a 1961. 1961 Canadian dollar, 80% silver. 1961 Canadian dollar. This is Melt, I believe, is about 1750 if I remember correctly. I looked earlier. Starting bid, $1 if there is interest. 1961 Canadian dollar. VMC is at 3. VMC top bidder at 3. Foxy 4. Ricky Descani goes to 15. Ricky Descani 15. Steve Kutzer 20. Steve Kutzer now the top bidder at $20, 1961 Canadian dollar. $20 to Steve Kutzer. He is now the top bidder. Steve Kutzer top bidder, $20. And we are going once. Only once, Steve Kutzer at 20. Steve Kutzer, top bidder at 20. And we're now 
Going twice. Going twice to Steve Kutzer at $20. All right, last call on this item if there is interest. 1961 Canadian dollar. If there is interest, let me know. Steve Kutzer says, hey, last call. Steve Kutzer, top bidder 20, and sold it to Steve Kutzer. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate it very much. Steve Kutzer will be the winner of the 1961 Canadian dollar. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. Next item for tonight. Let's see. What do we want to do? I'm going to go with this one. I am going to do this one right here. This is going to be a 1953-0 seated half dime. 1953-0 seated half dime right here. Not in great shape, but it is still a seated half dime. 1958, or 53, excuse me, 1953-0. 1953-0. I keep saying 19, 1853 oh, there we go. 1853 oh, I need to get the right decade. 1853 oh, starting bid on this will be at $25 if there is interest. 1853 oh, it does have a little bit of a bend in it or a ding. If there is interest, let me know. 1853 oh. We will start it out at 25. 25. I'm in the wrong century. Let me know if there's any interest in that. I have been streaming for three hours, so yeah, I do get a little forgetful. It's closing in on four here. Now, I, don't, I mean, it could have been a shovel strike. I bought this in a huge lot of stuff, so I don't know where it came from, but... There it is right there. If nobody's interested, we'll save it for another day and move on to something else. All right. We will move on from that one. All right. Next item for tonight, if there is interest. I know I had a few people ask me about these recently. I finally bought a couple. I finally bought a couple of these. If there is interest in this, let me know. Yeah, it was a little bit beat up, but right there is a 1875 S 20 cent piece. 1875 S 20 cent piece. If there is interest in this one, I am going to start this out at 130 if there is interest. 1875 S 20 cent piece. They get too much nicer than this. The price goes up extensively. 130 on this one if there is interest. 1875 S. 1875 S. 20 cent piece. 130. Silver Addiction is in at 130. That is the starting bid. Like I said, it's not in super, super great shape, but you don't find these all that often. And they are very expensive in even mid grade. Silver Addiction, now the top bidder at 130. 
Robert, I'm holding back so much right now. Silver Addiction, top bidder at 130. I will be honest with you, I do have another one that I will probably have next week or the week after. It'll be a little bit cheaper, but it's not as nice. It is not as nice. Going once to Silver Addiction at 130. Going once to Silver Addiction at 130. Hey Molly Wobbles, how are you? Going once to Silver Addiction at 130. Silver Addiction top bidder at 130, and we're now going twice. Uh, yes, it is also a 75S, Ricky. That is the most common of the years, is the 75S. Good to see you, Molly. All right, last call on this one. Last call. Last call. Silver Addiction top bidder. At 1.30, last call on this item if there is interest, and sold to Silver Addiction. Congratulations, brother. I know you needed this for your album. I think you were one of the couple people that asked me about this. Like I said, it's not perfect, but from here on out, they start getting pretty expensive. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Silver Addiction is going to walk away with a 20 cent piece. Thank you, Silver Addiction. I appreciate it. All right. What do we got left here? About 12 minutes before we get into... All right. Next item for tonight. We are going to have yet another... Canadian dollar, this time we're going to have a 1958, 1958 Canadian dollar, got the totem pole on there, same thing, we're going to start out once again at $1, I believe it is about $17 melt, yeah I'm working on getting some of my own Foxy, I'm going to get a couple so I at least have one of my own to hunt on, but James Benson, top bidder, oh, excuse me, Shell Bell first in at 5, James Benson is in at 10. James Benson at 10, Silver Addiction, 18. Silver Addiction, top bidder at 18, 1958. Canadian dollar, Silver Addiction, top bidder at 18. $18 to Silver Addiction, and we're now going once. Going once to Silver Addiction at $18. Shell Bell comes in at $20. Shell Bell says, I want it. I want it at $20. Shell Bell is now the top bidder. Shell Bell top bidder at $20 now. And we are going once to Shell Bell at $20. Shell Bell top bidder at $20. Shell Bell now $20. Going twice now to Shell Bell at $20. Going twice to Shell Bell at $20. Last call on this item if there is interest. Last call. Shell Bell top bidder $20. Silver Addiction says he is out to Shell Bell. And sold it to Shell Bell at $20. Thank you, Shell Bell. All right, what about 
10 minutes left before we get into giveaways. Shell Bell will walk away with that one. Next item for tonight. This thing is cool. I almost didn't get rid of this. I almost didn't. But I decided somebody would really, really like this. This is a 1977 Independence Day coin. Brotherhood of, Brotherhood of Jer in Jerusalem, capital of Israel. BU marked with the Star of David. It is 50% silver. This is put out by the Israeli Government Coins and Metals Corporation from the Government Mint in Jerusalem. Look at the purple toning on this thing. It is toned purple. It is super cool. I almost didn't let it go. Melt on it, I think, is about $12. If there's interest in this, it will start at a buck. I hope you guys can see the toning on it because it, it is beautiful. It's probably hard to see on camera, but it is crazy cool. It is a 25 lirit. If there is interest, cool purple toning on it. You can see it a little bit better, maybe right there. James Benson, top bidder at 12 now. James Benson, top bidder at 12. Hey, George Robinson, how you doing? Namaste is at 13. Namaste, top bidder at 13. James Benson is at 14. James Benson, top bidder now at 14. Rusty Nail is at 15. Rusty Nail now top bidder at $15. Rusty Nail top bidder $15. And going once to Rusty Nail at $15 if there is interest. Yeah, that's, they're available, AK, to anybody that wants one for extras. So if you want them all, that is certainly an option. Uh, they are yours. Rusty Nail, top bid at 15. Now going twice. Going twice to Rusty Nail at $15. Going twice. You're welcome, AK. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Going twice to Rusty Nail at 15. Last call on this item if there is interest. Last call. James Benson comes in at 16. Right as I was typing sold. James Benson now the top bidder at 16. On the 25 Lyric from Israel. James Benson now top bidder at $16. And we are going once to James Benson at 16. Rusty Nail comes right back at 17. Rusty Nail now at $17. James Benson says he is out. Rusty Nail at 17. And we are going once to Rusty Nail at $17. Rusty Nail, top bidder, 17. And we're now going twice. Going twice to Rusty Nail at 17. Last call on this item if there is interest. Ooh, we did get 100 likes. Nice. Last call if there is interest on this item. Rusty Nail, top bidder, $17. And sold to Rusty Nail at 17. Thank you very much my friend. I appreciate it. Rusty Nail, top bidder, 17. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. not fit in the 
All right. <clears throat> what else we got here? We'll do this. We'll do another $1 start, and then I'm going to pull something else out of the bin here, and then we're going to be done. So we got two more items left. Two more items left tonight. This is a 1969, 1969 Canadian set, uncirculated. This is not silver. It is not silver. It's a 1969. It is the year after they quit doing silver. So it's going to be a 1969 set. Starting at $1 if there is interest. $1 on this. Start on a Canadian set. 1969. Like I said, it is not silver. But it is the uncirculated set with the dollar, half dollar, quarter, nickel, dime, and the penny. If there is interest. Foxy the Coin Hunter was the first in at 3. James Benson is at 4. James Benson, $4. Top bidder. James Benson, top bidder at $4. And going once to James Benson at 4 James Benson, top bidder at $4 now. It's a steal at 4 bucks, And we're now going twice to James Benson. Going twice to James Benson at four. <clears throat> Excuse me. Namaste comes in at five. Namaste comes wheeling in at five dollars now. Top bidder at five dollars is Namaste. And we're now going once to Namaste at five. Namaste, top bidder, $5, and we are now going twice. Going twice to Namaste at 5 Last call on this item if there's interest. Namaste, top bidder, $5. And sold to Namaste at 5 bucks. It's a steal, Namaste. You got it, my friend. $5 on the 1969 set. Thank you, sir. All right, one last item, and then we're getting into... The giveaways. Let's see, which one is this? All right, we are going to have I have a eighteen thirty. Eighteen thirty. Capped bust dime right here, 1830 cap bust dime. There it is right there. There's the 10 cents on the bottom. 1830 cap bust dime. If there is interest in this, let me know. There is the obverse. There is the reverse. It's a little dirty, but all in all, it has pretty good detail on it still. Starting bid on this will be, make sure I get the right one here. Starting bid on this will be at $50 if there's interest, $18.30, cat bus dime. $50 starting bid if there is interest. This one is only 510,000 minted. 
510 came in at 1830. Cat bus dime. Starting bid is at 50. Silver Addiction is the top bidder now at $50. $50. Eighteen thirty cat bus dime. Ricky Viscani says fifty one. Fifty one. There is only five hundred and ten thousand minted. Ricky Viscani top bidder at fifty one dollars. On the eighteen thirty cat bus dime silver addiction says fifty two. Silver addiction fifty two dollars. Now he is the top bidder. Silver Addiction at $52, 1830 Cat Bus Dime. And we are now going once to Silver Addiction. Ricky Viscani comes right back at 53. Silver Addiction says 55 on the 1830 Cat Bus Dime. $55 now to Silver Addiction, top bidder. It's the Michigan versus Wisconsin battle. All right, we are going once to Silver Addiction at 55. Ricky says he is out. It is yours. Silver Addiction, top bidder at 55. And we are now going twice. Going twice to Silver Addiction at $55. $55 to Silver Addiction, top bidder. Last call on this item if there is interest. 1830 Cat Bus Dime, 510,000 minted. And sold to Silver Addiction at $55. Thank you very much, brother. I appreciate it. All right, thank you very much. Let me pull the rest of those ASEs out for a K real quick. Get them over in his pile. Thank you, AK. I appreciate it. I'll try to find some more add-ons for next week. Like I said, I just have 82 GWs, some blue Ikes. I am now out of ASEs, so I will find something else. I'm going to try to get, is anybody interested in um, 2024 ASEs? I almost got some this week and I didn't. Is there anybody interested in those or not? I may pick up some if they are. Figured I would ask. All right, time for some giveaways. We did hit 100 likes. Brian Jensen says, I got mine already. We're going to do the EOSs. All right, AK, I think I can get some next week, hopefully. Can you do the date on one of the gauze? What does that mean, Foxy? Can I do the date on one of the gauze? My LCS said my 1909 SVDB find was likely real, and he sent it off for grading with NGC. Oh, that's awesome, James. Okay. Good to know, Ricky. I, I get a lot of these that I can get, so... Oh, I got you. I got you now. All right, so we're going to start out with EOS 1, then 2, then 3, then the 100 likes. And we will follow that up with a fill the board. So that is what is going to be going on tonight. A fill the board will be the final giveaway of the night. Thank you, Silver Addiction. I appreciate it, brother. 
I'm glad we got you a few things for your book. All right, here we go. Over to the night bot, we will refresh. And mods keyword will be EOS1, EOS1, to get in, EOS1. We have 44 people eligible, 61 watching. Thank you, Robert Ortega. I appreciate it, brother. 61 watching, 45 eligible, 45 eligible. Here we go. Let's get over and draw a winner here. Five, four, three, two, and one. And the winner is Rusty Nail. He wins one and he also has an auction item. Very nice. Rusty Nail will be the winner. Would you like to see that, Rusty Nail, or would you like me to just send it on over? Your choice. Let me know. Your choice. Rusty Nail. EOS number one. <clears throat> Congratulations, Rusty Nail. He says, just send it on. All right. Next up is going to be EOS number two. EOS number two will be next. Keyword is EOS2, EOS number two to get in, EOS2. EOS2. One eligible now 32 EOS 2 I did not put a space in between the EOS and the 2 I don't know if it matters but I would make sure you do it that way that is how I typed it without the space this time EOS number 2 to get in EOS 2 all right, I will give you a few more seconds to get in if you would like. We have 64, now 63 watching. And we have 50 eligible. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. And it is Silver Addiction will win EOS number three, or number two, excuse me. Silver Addiction wins EOS number two. Congratulations, Silver Addiction. He wins another EOS. Would you like to see what it is, or would you like me to send it on? Let's see it, he says. I don't remember what I put in here now. Oh, I do remember. We got a couple of older Canadian dimes. What do we got there? 
1945 and a 1964 couple of 80% silver dimes coming your way. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And now on to EOS number three. EOS three will be next. We will refresh it again. Add the mods, keyword, EOS space three. EOS space three. EOS space three for the next giveaway. If you would like a chance. We have 64 watching. 64 watching and 53 eligible. Uh, the capitals don't matter, Foxy. It'll pick them up either way. They just have to be the right letters with the space or no space. You should be good. All right. 55 eligible. Here we go. Good luck. EOS 3 winner coming up. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And it is Yenny Ambon. She is going to win another one. Well, it's been a few weeks. Maybe three weeks. She won a couple, but. Jenny will win again. Congratulations, Jenny. Thank you. Much appreciated. Jenny Ambon with the win. Nice. Next, we are going to go ahead and get into the 100 likes will be the next one. Jenny Ambon, you can see it. Jenny would like to see it. Here we go. It is a dateless yet beautiful Standing Liberty Quarter will be coming your way, Yenny. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. 100 likes will be next. Keyword for the 100 likes. I'm going to switch it up on you guys. I'm going to switch it up. I will add mods. Keyword will be... Three two, three two four, three two, three two four, which is today's date. Three two, three two four. Three two, three two four. Today's date. I'll make it complicated. Three two, three two four. Somebody was honking when they went by, so I waved. Probably not honking at me, but. All right, 63 watching. Nobody wants to win free silver tonight, I guess. 63 of you do. All right, 54 eligible. Now 55, here we go. Let's see who wins the 100 likes. One, two, three, four, and five. There it is. Patrick Bushman. I haven't counted backwards since we changed it up. Patrick Bushman, you are going to win the 100 likes. If you would like to see what it is, let me know. Otherwise, I will send it on your way. Final giveaway for the night is going to be the fill the board giveaway. Fill the board giveaway will be the last one for tonight. I will show you what it is when you win if you want to see it. Otherwise, no one will ever know. Patrick Bushman says, let's see. And it is, I can't even see the date. It is a 1928S Walker, 1928S Walker. 
will be heading your way. Congratulations, Patrick Bushman. And next giveaway will be, you guys are all typing it in. I'm not even ready to go yet. That's all right, though. Keyword will be FTB. FTB is the keyword to get in if you would like. FTB it is. It was a fantastic fill the board stream, AK. I couldn't agree more. Fill the board giveaway, last one of the night. 61 people here, and we lost a like since we did the 100 likes giveaway. We went down to 99. What's up with that? Oh, we're back to 100. We're good now. All right, FTB, fill the board, 61 people watching, 54 eligible. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. And it is Great Start. Great Start has won the giveaway. Would you like to see what you won, Great Start? Or would you just like me to send it your way? Your choice. Your choice. Let me know. Uh, it was a 64 silver addiction. You want to see it? All right, here it is. We have a 1971 Blue Ike. Fill the board giveaway. Right there is the envelope that goes along with it. Congratulations, 1971 Blue Ike coming your way. You are very welcome. Congratulations on the win. Great start is the winner. Giveaways will go out early next month. Well, I take that back. It'll take me about two weeks to get through all of them beginning at the beginning of next month. I am mailing a lot of these in the old, uh, old school style in a card now. So they will be coming, but it takes me a little bit. So thank you very much. I appreciate everybody hanging out with me tonight. It was a great time as usual. Boxes available for Tuesday. We have another CU box. We did have silver in it. So if anybody's interested in that, let me know. I should have two more PB boxes, PB boxes to pick up on Tuesday. We'll see what happens. I also have the WBs we haven't got into yet. So who knows what will be in those. So once again, take care, everybody. I had a fantastic night. Robert Ortega with the $9.99 Super Chat for shipping. Thank you very much, Robert. Much appreciated. We usually have church late, but we have the in-laws in town. They're going to be here in the morning. So we are uh, taking the day off to hang out with them before they leave tomorrow. So, uh, Foxy... I think it is just 21 plus the duck race, I believe is it. 21 plus the duck race, which uh, I don't remember if that one was four or five, but you should be good. So take care, everybody. Once again, have a fantastic Sunday tomorrow. Make sure to try to spend a little time with your family. Uh, like I said, we have family in town. Palm Sunday, yes, is coming up. I actually have fr Good Friday off coming up this week, so that is pretty cool. Have an extra day off. Oh, yes, and the 75 cents for the proof. That's right. So I appreciate everybody. Have a great week. Like I said, take care. We will see you Tuesday night. Later, everybody. Take care.